Takk kærlega fyrir að hlusta eða horfa bíóblæður. Nú getur þið gerst áskrifundur með því að fara heima síðan mína, bíóblæður.is og skrá ykkur þar. Verðið er einungis 1099 krónur á mánuði. Fyrir þá uppbæð þá fáið þið 2 til 3 aukaþætti í hverju mánuði. Þessi stöðningur skiptir mig rosalega miklu máli, þetta er mikil vinna og hver einasti áskrifandi telur svakalega. Þannig að endilega kíkja heima síðan mína, bíóblæður.is og gerist áskrifundur. Þessi þáttur er í bóði Pop Smells frá Nova Sirius. Þetta er súkkulaði og pop sem kemur í tveimur bráðtöndum. Peperdufti og með súkkulaði venlu. Ég mæli með peperdufti, það er uppbáldum mitt. Ég veit hvað ég mun að borða margar svona póka. Ég mæli með að fólk smakki Pop Smell. Þetta er blanda sem klikkar ekki, súkkulaði og pop. Sambiona. Sambion reyka fimm kvikmyndahús. Eitt á Akureyri, eitt í Keplaug, þrjú í bænum. Álabakka, Kringlunni og Eiðisöll. Eiðisöllin uppbáðs Ég vil þakka sem fyrirtækjum kærlega fyrir stuðningin, án þegar að gæti ekki gert þetta podcast. Ég vil líka þakka ykkur á sjálfsögur fyrir að hlusta á horfa bíóblæður. Endilega fylgi ég bíóblæður á Facebook, TikTok og Instagram. There's another 12 honorable mentions at the end, but yeah, I I, I can give you a top 10. But not ranked. No, I wrote them in or, my favorite order. Oh, okay. So like if I was on a fucking desert island, I would watch this movie. I fucking have watched this movie a thousand times. I can recite most of these movies. That's why they're my favorite movies. So there's like a clear number one. Mm, yeah. 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 Why did you hesitate? Like, uh, yeah. Because I love movies. I'm a fucking movie crackhead. I, <laughs> I love movies. Like when Blockbuster was a thing, bro, the fucking late fees. And I spent thousands on that motherfucker. <laughs> thousands. Yeah. Because, I, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Like six fucking seven movies a night. Just, yeah. That's not true. Seven yeah. movies a night. I don't know. I, I, Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. That's a lot. It is. <laughs> Are you proud of that fact? Yes. Like seven movies a night. I'm like a, a, a movie ninja. <laughs> What that, does that mean? I don't know. I just made it up. But it, <laughs> You're a movie crackhead and a movie ninja. Uh-huh. <laughs> crackhead, movie ninja. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So before we go, start going deep into that list and talking about movies, mm-hmm. you mentioned Blockbuster. You're an American. You're from Ohio. Yeah. What are you doing in Iceland? Ah, good story. I have a retort for that. Um, so, uh, I was living in uh, down south, because I'm from the north in Ohio, uh, but was in down, down south uh, in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. Wow. Yeah, right. I know. It is impressive. I know. <laughs> I've never been there. Uh, you're, it's cool. Don't you? Am I lucky that I've never been there? Or I mean... <laughs> it's the South, <laughs> belt buckles and Jesus and shit. But it sounds interesting. Oh, it is interesting. That's why I wanted to live in the South because they got the good ass food and every stereotype you've seen about the South is fucking true. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Sister fucking, belt buckles, <laughs> giant ass trucks, people that live in the fucking swamp. What about guns? Fuck yeah, guns. <laughs> why? Yeah. Fuck, Fuck yeah, yeah with guns. some guns. Fuck yeah. Okay, so you lived in the South. Yeah, okay, yeah. So By yourself? Uh, well, yes. <laughs> I mean, asking. I had a girlfriend at the time, but yes, I, yes. Not a wife, no kids. No, 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 no. Uh, I lived right on the beach, like legit on the fucking beach. Like, I'm going to use meters, check this out. Uh, <laughs> 30 meters from where the waves are crashing was my apartment. I didn't own it. I was renting it. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, so Hurricane Katrina comes around. And I literally saw all the cops and policemen and firemen leave in a fucking straight line out of there. Because at the time, Bush was the president, and he was like, hey, y'all better just leave. You're all going to die. I guess that was that was a really bad George Bush. But, <laughs> but yeah, I saw all the authority in the whole fucking city just bounce. And I was like, fuck, this was about eight, eight hours before the hurricane hit. So everybody's leaving, but in in Mississippi, Louisiana, that area, hurricanes are just a reason not to go to work 
and cook out. Like <laughs> nobody fears these things. And me being from up north, I'm like, oh no, man, that's a natural disaster. Seems and the president said we should leave. And so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna leave. This this doesn't look good. And where the uh, hurricane was gonna land was pretty much bam, right there. We were expecting like a I don't know, like a four four meter uh influx tidal wave, miniature tidal wave. And I lived on the second floor, so I'm out there measuring like <laughs> I could do that shit. <laughs> Fuck it. But my my better survival instincts kicked in. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna bounce. So I loaded up my car, my cat, my girlfriend, and my sneaker collection. And we drove to Atlanta. And as we're pulling out of the driveway, my neighbors are like, hey, man, y'all some hurricane pussies. And they're out there grilling with the beer, just living the good life. Did I'm they like, use that word, hurricane pussies? Yeah. And I'm like, y'all going to die. Fuck y'all. So went up to Atlanta, watched the disaster and the hurricane. Yeah, check it out. So uh, about a day and a half later on CNN, fucking CNN, I see them same ass neighbors who got whooshed out of their house by that wave, them same old cooking ass out neighbors, uh, they they got whooshed out of their house and had to live in a tree for three fucking days because the water, the the when the 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 flood came in, there's all oil refineries and alligators and chemical factories and fucking sharks and shit, poisonous ass snakes, all kind of nasty shit. So you couldn't swim to safety. I know a dude who lived on a fucking piece of plywood for almost a week and he rescued a rabbit. It was just him and the rabbit it all sun blistered and fucking burned up and he couldn't do nothing because you couldn't swim in that water. It was fucking chemical and oil and alligators and shit. Yeah. Gnarly. But we saw our dumbass neighbors who called us hurricane pussies <laughs> living in a fucking tree. And I'm like, who's hurricane pussy now? Motherfucker. <laughs> you know, but they survived. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, fuck them. But, um, <laughs> So I lived in Atlanta for a couple of months, six months or something, waited for civilization to come back because it was so fucking bad. Even six months later, when I went back down there, I, I was working in a tattoo shop called Bayou Tattoo. A bayou is basically a swamp. This trailer or this, uh, this tattoo shop was in a trailer. Yeah, a fucking trailer. Yeah, yeah. On the swamp. It's one. It's like the oldest tattoo shop in town, and I worked there. <laughs> and there was no, there was electricity, but like barely. The only thing open in this city was a truck stop that had a shower, mm, half of a gas station, and this tattoo shop. Oh, and a bar right next door. So that was it. And uh, so yeah, me and a friend of mine from Alabama. Uh, he would he would he would drive uh, to the shop, and we lived at the tattoo shop, slept on air mattresses, and uh, boy, it was funky because you know everybody was homeless. I mean, if, if you lost your house, I lost my fucking house. There wasn't nothing left. You know what I mean? So what about the insurance or stuff like fuck, that? Insur I rented it. Shit, who the fuck has renters insurance? That's not American. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's not American. No, if I owned that shit, I would have been rich. You know, because like uh, the government during that time was like, um, uh, we're going to give you a list. You you uh, itemize all the shit you lost and we'll give you some money. I was like, oh, tight. All right, TV, da, 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 and listed my shit. I didn't want to lie. I'd, you know, I'd never been in one of these things before. Fuck, man. My neighbors out there breaking windows, hosing down shit. And yeah, we had a golden toilet and a diamond TV and a uh, uh, platinum gun rack and <laughs> These motherfuckers got $40,000. Me, $3,500. <laughs> Because you should have lied. I should have fucking lied, but I didn't because I didn't know I should have. So, long story, I'm living in this fucking goddamn trailer tattoo shop. And uh, mm, it was weird. It was on, all right, it was on a bayou, right? And there was rats, big ass fucking swamp rats. So we had a, a, a BB gun and a, a one of the blow dart blow, guns. Blow, blow dart, a dart gun. Yeah, yeah. And you'd hear, big old rat. Ah, oh, I missed him. Damn. And yeah, it was like that. You're not fucking with me. No, I hand a sort of God. <laughs> um, 
With a dart gun. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Well, I'm not going to kung fu chop a rat. That's, did you, <laughs> did you hit I, them? Did you get them? No, never. No. Oh. <laughs> That's what I thought. But, um, oh man, I'm getting off track here. Uh, yeah, so during that time, basically I was homeless. Uh, after a little while, I applied to the government and they gave you like a FEMA trailer, a, a camping trailer to live in, which was fucking tight for about two hours. <laughs> and I was like, motherfucker, I live now in Mississippi in a goddamn fucking trailer. Fuck my life. And there was like right there on the coast, right on the beach, everybody lost their shit. There was like giant antebellum, you know, turn of the century mansions with a fucking Rolls Royce. Uh, the, the, it was funny. There was a FEMA trailer with a Rolls Royce parked out in front because clearly the guy bounced in his Rolls and then came back and found out his fucking house was gone. So, But like a rich dude. Yeah, yeah. We had like a so mansion. Everybody, the playing field was fucking level. Like I said, I had a trailer. So did rich guy with the Rolls Royce. We're all in trailers. And uh, like I said, it was sick for about two hours. And I was like, fuck, no part of my game plan for life. And nobody had uh, jobs because there was no fucking jobs. It was so gnarly, dude, that if we lived in an apartment complex, like a say a six apartment block, uh, there was no law. There was no police, no nothing. So maybe Monday and Tuesday, you're on the roof with a gun t in case looters came and try to steal your <laughs> shit. Boop, boop. You shoot them. You call the state police. They'll be like, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll scoop them up eventually. Y'all, y'all did good. It sounds like post apocalyptic stuff. It was, bro. I've never, I've been in tornadoes and dumb shit like that, but this was, it was like a bomb went off and like just nothing, just flat. There was parts of New Orleans where it just looks like aliens came and sucked up everything that was living and just left houses and trees and weird shit like that. Uh, where am I going with this? Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and nobody had no jobs. So everybody was getting this FEMA money, the federal emergency. Anyways, it was free money from the <laughs> fucking government, yeah? Yeah. And uh, because they're all a bunch of liars, everybody's getting paid. So <laughs> this, except you. Yeah. This is like Louisiana, Mississippi, bunch of fucking hillbillies, right? So they spent all their money on gold teeth and oxycotton. Yeah. It was like that. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. Yeah. So around 2000, this happened 2005, about a year later, still living in a fucking trailer woo, and all that. Uh, I got invited by a girl that I was working with. Uh, to come to a tattoo festival in Iceland. I'm like, man, what the fuck is in Iceland? It's not even a real place. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but I'm going to go. I was like, fuck it. Let's go check it out. So I came here for the first uh, Icelandic tattoo convention. And whilst I was here, um, I got offered a couple of jobs. Um Yeah. What? Uh, I uh, I chose to be employed by a fellow named Sveti Tattoo. He seemed like a nice enough fellow. And um, so he uh, gave me a job at his tattoo shop and, yeah, and uh, let me stay at his house, you know. And um, he, he was a different cat. Do you, do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know him personally, but okay. I, I know of him. So I'm living at his house above the tattoo shop on Lega Vega, you know? And like, this was when a, a place called Glambar was still open. And like, you know, I'm not a biker, but he was, and all his people was bikers. I'm like, well, when in Rome, whatever. We'd go out on the weekend and go to some nightclub and he'd go over to like the good table, you know, like the, the corner booth. And he'd go over there and, and those motherfuckers would just get up and be like, and leave. And I was like, wow, this guy's got like some pull. <laughs> he probably <laughs> was threatening to skin him alive or something crazy. But at the time I was like, damn, we don't pay to get in clubs. We don't, wow. It's like that. Um, yeah. You know, shoot to many, many, many years later. Um, but you know, it, it, uh, it was expert. It was exponentially better than living in a trailer with a bunch of fucking crackheads in Mississippi. 
But you went back, right? You came to the for the convention. I, I came to the convention, got offered these jobs. Uh, him and uh, the guy who owns Reykjavik Inc. Uh, he's the one who put it on, uh, sir. And um, I was like, okay, this this could work. This you know, these people are like tattoo on fire, you know. So I went home and grabbed my fucking suitcase. <laughs> Legit. Oh, and I also had a girlfriend at the time that I was trying to get as far away from as humanly fucking possible. So I figured Iceland is pretty goddamn far. Yeah. So I was like, all right, peace. Took my little suitcase, fucked off to Iceland. But you broke up with her, right? I mean, eh. I mean you didn't just leave her. Oh, no. I was like, hey, I'm going to Iceland. I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> And uh, did you hear from her again? Yeah, yeah. My dumbass brought her up here. And she came to Iceland. Yeah, yeah. I, I brought her, yeah, after, <laughs> after about <laughs> six months. Here's the thing I had a BMW at the time, I left it there. And I was like, hey, uh, can you take care of this for me? Oh, shit. Okay. So the night I landed in Iceland, she calls. She's like, yeah, I drunk drove and crashed your Beamer. I was like, <laughs> this is a sign from God. Yeah. So it was like that. So, um, yeah. And then within moving her here, within three months, she knew every creepy drug dealer in downtown and just became one of those people. Do you know the place on Monaco? Monaco, the bar on Legavigar? I don't even know. It's probably not still there. But it was like the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst. And she was a re regular. Oh, fuck, right. yeah. To the point of where like, yo, Jason, can you come get this bitch out of here? She's being ornery. Now, to be ornery in the <laughs> worst bar in fucking Iceland, that's saying a lot. You know what I mean? So, needless to say, she went home. And I continued my awesome life <laughs> tattooing. <laughs> And um, yeah, so that's how I wound up here. <laughs> that's a long, long story short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's uh, and that's that was 2006, like 20 fucking years ago or something. So you've lived here, you, for almost 20 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. And because I didn't um, wasn't legal, <laughs> I made many trips back and forth to I don't know my friend's house in America, go stay in Florida. For oh a yeah, on months. a regular basis, you had to go back and. Uh, Most of the time, I made that three month window. Sometimes I didn't. One time, I went to England because I was like, "Fuck, I'm about to get kicked out of Iceland. I have like two more days. Fuck it, I'm just going to go to London shopping for Christmas for two days. Get my little stamp on my passport. Boop, 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 back in. Yeah, that was the plan. What uh, had happened was, as I got to London, they're like, yes, how long are you staying? I'm like, two days. Yes, where's your hotel? Because they're very specific in, in England because of like terrorism and junk like that. I'm like, yeah, I don't have a hotel. Well, you have to have a hotel. I was like, I have this wad of money that I plan on spending in your country. I will find a hotel and I'm going to shop. They're like, yeah, that's not going to work. And they start, oh, you stay in Iceland. You're an American. Oh, wait. We know what you're doing, Mr. Get a stamp in our country and sneak back into Iceland, you fucker. You got busted. Yeah. <laughs> I got put in airport jail, bro, in fucking handcuffs. What? Yeah. They took my passport and handcuffed me to a, a fucking wall, the same place if I had if I was like a, a shoe bomber on an airplane. <laughs> I'm in the same fucking airport jail in Heathrow as them. No, Gatwick. As those fuckers. And... Mm, yeah. Were you stressed out? Fuck yeah, I was stressed out. But at the same time, I'm always going to be good. I have this way of landing like on my feet somehow. And plus, I use the Jedi mind trick. So the interviewer, the cop, whatever, they're like, yeah, we're going to deport you back to America. And I was like, okay. Why don't you deport me back to Iceland seeing as I have a ticket and let them bother with it? With it. They're like, you know what? We're just going to deport you back to Iceland <laughs> and let them bother. And I'm like. Oh. So it worked. It did. So long story. Uh, here's me in handcuffs the next day with a cop on either side of me strutting through the airport like a fucking criminal. Yeah. Like, like, like a uh, con air type shit. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> Minus the fucking cage and the mask and shit. But yeah, in handcuffs, they give my passport to the 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 captain. They're like, don't give this to them him uh, his passport till we till you land in Iceland, and then the cops will pick him up and fuck him off back to America. So they they bring me on the plane in handcuffs to cops. Like, how fucking embarrassing is that? You know, like air marshals and shit. So yeah, they go off the plane. Fucking, we fly back to Iceland, land on the runway, and I'm like looking out the window, like I don't see no cops. <laughs> I shouldn't be talking about this. No. Is there a statue of limitations? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. This was 20 years ago, man. Long time. So long story. There was no, no police. And the uh, captain gives me my passport back. I poke my head out the, the fucking airplane. I'm like, I felt like James motherfucking Bond. <laughs> so did you make a run for it? No, no. I just came back to Iceland and lived some more. And then... Then, and, no, and no cop has knocked on your door like, hey, no, are you the guy that... No. But after that, I made sure every three months or 90 days, I fucked off and made sure that I did the right thing. But like today, I assume you're like an Icelandic citizen, right? I'm not here. <laughs> Prank caller. <laughs> Prank caller. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I've got a wife, a kids. I own a business. I pay taxes. I'm... Yeah. You don't have to go like in three months. No, no, no. Because I'm married. That's over, right? I'm I'm good. Yeah. So your wife is Icelandic. Icelandic. Yeah. Okay. I have two Icelandic kids, a fucking house, a car, the whole fucking, yeah. So I'm not talking to a criminal. <laughs> nope. Not, no, not anymore. I used to be a bad person, but no, I've, <laughs> I've, I'm a good, oh, I shouldn't have said all this. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so after that, I made sure that my, my passport was in order and did all the correct things. Um, yeah, I have a residency card and pay way too many goddamn taxes. Yeah, <laughs> holy shit with the taxes. Okay, so I have to ask you. I know this is like a stupid question. There are no stupid questions. But it's, it's, a, it's a very common question that But Icelanders ask, you know, foreigners like, "Ah, oh, how do you like Iceland?" But I have to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rephrase this a little bit. Mm -hmm. What is it about Iceland that you like? I mean, I know uh, you have like an Icelandic wife, you have the kids. Well, when I first came here, like every fucking American, I'm like, "Oh my god, it's so magical here! Fucking elves and volcanoes and shit." You know, it, it was the exact opposite from where I'm from, and uh, it was clean. It was nice, you know. And all that. Um, but uh, what was the question? How? Why do I like Iceland? Yeah, like I mean, what is what the is power it? in Iceland? Is it the people? Ah, you you well, mentioned the landscape, uh, the clean many, water, the clean air, all that shit. I have kids. I don't want them growing up in America. When I first met my wife, she's like, "Ooh, when are we moving to America?" I'm like, "Yeah, fucking never." <laughs> that's that's why I've I've been here so long. No, 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 no. Uh, we've been to visit a couple of times and I said, all right, you love America so much. Watch this. So we flew back to America. We started in New York, rented a car and drove all the way down to uh, Florida, the whole East coast. After that trip, she was like, man, fuck this. Like we were in North Carolina, North, oh, some hillbilly ass mountainous place at a, a truck stop. And as we're pulling in, there's a guy with a stick at holding his kid, just beating the snot out of the kid with a stick. And I'm like, just, just don't look, look away. Just, just, I know it's wrong, but just don't get involved. So, and I'm like pumping gas, looking at this motherfucker, like you fucking hillbilly, which by the way, there's nothing wrong with hillbillies. Um, but you inbred fucker. <laughs> So I go in to pay for the gas and I'm standing in line. I have a tank top on. Guess who's behind me with the stick and is still in his hand. He's like, hey, man, there's some nice tattoos. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> and he fucking starts touching my arm, like grabbing on it. Look, and I was like, yo, homie, check it out. Give me, give me about two, three feet here. What, what, did you think you're better than me? I was like, no, man, just give me a couple of feet here, bro. 
And I, because I'm not going to get in a fight with a hillbilly, a known child beater uh, with a stick <laughs> in a fucking gas station in North Carolina or whatever. I'm not stupid. So it took everything within me just to be like, you know, okay, get back in the car. Let's just go. And yeah. So I narrowly escaped death by stick, <laughs> <laughs> getting beat to death by a fucking hillbilly. So your wife, she went to America. Yeah. She it, had a little bit of taste of the American yeah, way. Yeah, just too many goddamn people. Too many people. And like she, uh, she was, uh, we, we took our, uh, our daughter who was like maybe eight months old at the time. And we're at like, uh, uh, what's that fucking place? Uh, some restaurant that serves you fucking cake company, cake factory, cheesecake, so, cheesecake factory. Cheesecake factory. We're there. And my wife, Icelandic European lady is like, Hey waitress, where can I feed my daughter? Because she was feeding uh, the feeding her my Re daughter, feeding her. Yeah, just over in the corner, and people were like, "Oh, a boob!" Oh, you know, just freaking the fuck out. So she's like, "Legit, where can I feed my daughter?" Well, you can go in the bathroom. <laughs> um, you mean just like chill in a bathroom stall? Yeah, that's private. <laughs> and that just she fucking lost her mind. She's like. Y'all are crazy people. It's a boo. This is a, this is nature, man. But no, Americans, we love titties, but not mom titties. You know what I mean? It, America is so, so strange. Weird. Weird. But it's a big place. I mean. It's huge. It's like 50 different little countries. And there's got to be, you know, the difference between being in New York, Ohio, LA, Florida. Yes. But none of these places interested your wife she just wanted to live in iceland and you were like yeah let's just move here oh uh, she was interested i mean she's lived in portugal and paris she speaks like five six languages she's a uh, international hmm. wow. um which i speak to canadian and fucking english <laughs> <laughs> what about icelandic yeah yeah <laughs> yeah hmm? you must mm -hmm. know More words than that. Yeah, yeah. When I first moved here, <laughs> um, the funny thing about being a foreigner in Iceland is as soon as you hear me, Gondayan, Yasun, uh, as soon as you hear a little twang, you're like, yeah, just fucking speak English. <laughs> just don't fuck up my language. <laughs> don't even try. So it's, it's actually was really hard because I did try a little bit. But also the guy I was working for when I first moved here would – teach me bad Icelandic because it was funny. Like, like, uh, hey, see that girl over there? You should go say, uh, uh, you have a nice bola pica. I'm like, what does that mean? Oh, just say it. It means you, you think she's cute or something. <laughs> it doesn't mean you think she's cute. Not one bit. <laughs> so I'd say that shit and he'd be over here. <laughs> so they were teasing you. Oh, fuck my life. Yeah. Just the worst. So did you just give up? Like, yeah. Oh, fuck this. Yeah. And like my daughter, uh, who, you know, she's nine now, but when she was learning Icelandic and stuff, she's still learning Icelandic. Um, I try and help her with her homework and try and learn with her. You know what I mean? But um, the main thing is uh, nobody who want, wants to hear me fuck up your language. So they just switched English. <laughs> so the way I see it, I'm helping Icelandic people practice their English. That's what Americans do. We help. So I'm helping you help yourself speak the international language of American. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Okay. What about Icelandic movies? Mm -hmm. You're a movie crackhead. I liked Svartaro Lake. And that's about it. Yep. Do you watch a lot of Icelandic movies? Nope. Why not? Because they're in Icelandic. <laughs> But I, I mean with, you know, But English I, subtitles. So. Um, you don't read subtitles. Yeah. No, I like I like subtitles. I have a few subtitled movies in here. All foreign movies, Korean movies, if you will. Yes. Oh. Um, I'm not mad at subtitles, but I'm just not in the loop enough to like. Oh, that new flick is coming out. I can't wait for that to watch it in fucking subtitles. Um, but there is some really good Icelandic movies, and what's the Balthazar McCormicker? Balthazar Kormogur. Yeah. That dude makes dope shit. Um, and he's worked with like big names. Denzel Washington. Yeah, Mark yeah. Goldberg. Good shit. Two guns. Fucking, 
What was the one that's the the reboot of Reykjavik Rotterdam about the painting? With uh, Co- contraband. Yes, fucking a good ass movie, as well as the original. But no, I'm not real super in Icelandic movies. But I did see Svarto Lake, and I was like, but I was watching it with some criminals at the time who were like, eh, it wasn't like that at all. No, nope, he didn't break his collarbone. That was actually his wrist. And that, that part about the hand cut off, that never happened. Isn't that right, Jonesy? Uh, so, yeah. But, um, yeah. That must, was, have, must have been a real experience. Uh-huh. Because they clearly were there or or knew the guy who knew the guy. And, mm-hmm. Okay, let's move into your list. Yes. I'm excited. You have like 25 movies. Or something. I have a few. Okay. So. Is there, is there like a clear number one? You said that you have like a favorite one. I wrote these in, in order. I wrote down all the movies I love. Then I got a whole nother ass piece of paper. And I was like, all right, fuck. <laughs> I'm going to write these in order of what I think is the shit. Okay. How about we do, you know, 10 movies. 10? Start with 10. And then we can do the honorable mentions. <laughs> My man, I got, look, you fold it in half, I got 10. Awesome. So let's start with 10. I have no idea what I'm, you know, walking into here. Fucking good fellas. That's number 10. No, that's number one. <laughs> Did you want to start with 10? I, I want to work my way up. Oh, sh- I was kidding. That movie sucks. <laughs> okay, let's. Okay, number let's, 10. Let's put good fellas to the side. Yeah, that never happened. For a while. Okay, number 10. Talladega Nights. <laughs> Talladega Nights. That's Christopher Nolan's favorite comedy. Did you know that? Is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Tell um, me about Teledega Nights. Why did you pick it that It is one? the finest cinematic offering from whoever the fuck directed that. Fucking Will Ferrell, Sasha Baron Cohen. Oh, my God. The, and this is a movie I can almost quote. Like, the people at my work hate me. Because I, as an American, I like movie quotes. And I say them all the fucking time. Do you have a favorite one from Talladega Nights? Oh, shit. Uh, hmm. I'm putting you on the spot. So many. Uncle Chip, I'll be all over you like a spider monkey. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> Thank you, dear eight pound, four ounce baby Jesus. Can't even talk. Wrapped in your swaddling clothes. It's just, I mean, it goes on. Endless. Yes. That movie... Fucking Will Ferrell is a genius. I love everything that dude's ever been in. Almost everything. Is it a funnier movie than Step Brothers? Because that's that one's God pretty damn. good. God damn. Ooh, that didn't even make it in the list. But same shit, man. Oh, John C. Riley. God damn it. Mmm. Mmm. So many quotes in that one. That too. <laughs> nope. I'm going to go with Talladega Nights because I lived in the South with people who really did love NASCAR and believe that was a real fucking sport. And... <laughs> It's not. It's not a real sport. I'm asking you. Mm-hmm. No. It's just driving there's, circles. There's millions of people who think it is. So, yeah, it's a sport. Have you ever watched like an entire event? Never. <laughs> Fuck no. Why not? <laughs> Fuck that. God damn. <laughs> How dumb is that shit? And it's, Which no. is dumber? NASCAR or WWE? W, the, the wrestling? Yeah. NASCAR by far. That's dumber than the fake wrestling. Ah, they're both dumb as fuck. Same, same genre of people though. Hey man, y'all going to that wrestling event tonight? Woo-hoo-hoo! Yeah. <laughs> same folks. So you got the same people that watch WWE? They go to NASCAR, NASCAR events in their WWE shirts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. Talladega Nights. Yes. Sasha Baron Cohen. Did you enjoy Borat, Ali G? All that shit. Yeah, I went to the movie to see what was it? Fucking, um, what was the one about the fashion designer? Bruno. Bruno. Holy shit. I went to the movies to see that shit, right? I never seen no fucking, and you know, on the gold, on the big ass screen, that's what, a 12 foot, 15 foot screen? Fucking weenie helicopter. I never see, <laughs> I never imagined that was going to happen at a movie. And wow. But yeah, I think that dude's a fucking genius. Sasha Baron Cohen. Does he cross the line? Yeah. And fucking A for him. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for that, Sasha Baron Cohen. <laughs> Do you think comedians today 
oh, they have it so bad because of all. Oh. <clears throat> because <laughs> we're just talking here. Because there are certain folks who feel differently these days about comedies. Uh, yeah, comedians are fucked these days because I can't say anything. It's a goddamn fucking joke. Because isn't their job to cross the line? Yeah, you and know, to make you laugh. Push boundaries, mm -hmm. make you laugh. Yeah, but you can't do that anymore. Because somebody's going to get too feeling sure. Somebody's going to get offended. Mm -hmm. And I've even heard comedians talking about this. Like, man, these motherfuckers are trying to cancel me and I'm saying jokes. And sometimes they're canceling guys or trying to cancel some comedians for stuff they said like 20 years ago. Yeah, you can't do that. Like, I saw an interview on Joe Rogan with um, uh, Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller? Yeah. He went to Rogan's. No, I'm sorry. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Oh, they're, they're talking, talking about, about Tropic Thunder. Yeah, uh, and he's yeah. like, man, they couldn't even make four minutes of that movie these, today. And he's like, well, do you feel bad for that? He's like, no, not one bit. Uh, we made we we made the cutoff by about eight months before people started getting um, feeling differently about. What do you think? Do you think they could make Tropic Thunder today? Fuck no. What about a movie like Dumb and Dumber? Nope. None of the good <laughs> ass movies they could make today. When was the last time they made a good comedy? Like within the past seven years. Not really. I'm trying. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm trying. I even to... watched Austin Powers, one of the first or second ones, about a couple weeks ago, and I'm like, this st shit still holds up, funny as a motherfucker. But you could be like, mm, you can't really do that. Like the the fembots with the fucking robot titties. <laughs> Somebody somewhere is gonna be like, oh my god, that's so. There's a, probably a word I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Somebody somewhere is going to be mad, but that shit is funny as fuck. And I like that. <laughs> I agree with you. I'm yeah. just... Um, I mean... Tropic you... Thunder, that's piss your pants funny. Every goddamn bit of it. It didn't even make it in my list, though. But to be, to be honest, like, when I watched Tropic Thunder, I saw it... Uh, the last time I saw it, maybe th two, three years ago. You? I still think it's funny. To me, it's who is it offending? I mean, everybody. Holy shit. Simple Jack. <laughs> Bro. But the joke's on him. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but you're. Mm. He's an asshole actor. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. why I'm laughing. I'm not laughing at. The, Do you my, know what I mean? My, the head movies made my eyes rain. You can't say shit like that, man. You can't do it. And Robert Downey Jr. I'm a black guy playing another dude. Playing Is he making dude. fun of black people? No, no, he's no. not. The, you have to, you have to actually watch the movie, and then make a judgment. Do you think black people, hmm? if they would see Tropic Thunder today, do you think they would be offended? No, they'd probably be like, "As funny as a motherfucker." I think they would laugh. Yeah, but it's not mean. There's a there's a a, a 19 year old college kid somewhere <laughs> in America like, "Oh my god, did you say that?" Just and probably a white one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Being offended for them, <laughs> for, for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mm, I'm not down with that stuff. It bothers you. So your favorite comedies are all like 15 years old at least. I'm old as shit, man. Yeah. How old are you? Mm. 46. Uh huh. 48. Um, I was born in 68. What? Word. <laughs> Holy yeah, shit! Yeah, just turned 50. You look good, man. I did so many drugs when I was younger, I pickled <laughs> myself. So I'm going to look like this forever. <laughs> Me and Rob Lowe have the same genes. That motherfucker's like 72 or some shit. He Still looks, just He looks amazing. Good. Yeah. I don't know what he did, but I guess I did the, you know. I've had people that I did drugs with back in the day that look like a fucking raisin. So clearly they didn't do them correctly. I was doing them correctly. But maybe it's just your genes. Could be. You can't fuck up your jeans. Oh, part of the reason I, when I, uh, I moved to Iceland. Yeah. Uh, I, I never knew my real dad. So when I was about 30, I contacted him. I had a stepdad growing up my whole life. He was awesome. But I was like, I want to meet my real dad to see if I'm going to wind up fat and bald. So <laughs> that was legit. <laughs> the only reason I wanted to meet him. Really? Like what's in store for me? So I meet him. Oh fuck. He's a race car driver. Talladega Nights. He's, he's, 
not that bad, but he's a, a street racing mechanic dude who gets in trouble. He, he kind of got a little bit of a twang, even though he's from fucking Ohio. <laughs> um, but yeah, when I met him, he's like, man, your, your people are Vikings. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, they're from Iceland. I was like, oh boy, you're just saying words, aren't you? Iceland, <laughs> okay. I was like, okay, cool. So my grandma, her name is Jenny Norther. She's Icelandic. Uh, but she moved to America and married um, uh, a race car driver. And he crashed and died and got crazy stupid money. Um, so I got to meet her. And then I was like, oh, okay. I guess my people are from Iceland, whatever. At least my grandma was. Which makes me <laughs> about 25% Icelandic. <laughs> and so I'm you one of here. you. Yeah, you're one of us. But maybe, uh, you know, I, I'm not all magical and all elfy and shit. But I don't know. When I first came here, I was like, this could work. I really, I dig this. So you had like a gut feeling. Oh, yeah. I, could, I can see myself living here. Yeah. But every fucking American says, I don't know how many tourists I've tattooed. They're like, I, I'm thinking about moving here. I think it's just great. Y'all got that clean air? I don't know why I'm using that voice, but <laughs> what, whatever. That's your American. version of an American. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, um, yeah, you got that clean energy and it's, it's so nice here and all them pretty girls and 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 just yeah i get it bro we have fucking mountains so do you you know <laughs> i i always find it weird when canadians come here and they're like oh my god the nature is just so great you have the fucking rocky mountains in your backyard those are real mountains with bears and cougars and shit all the mountains here they are majestic sure but they're kind of flat you know you know what i mean there's no pointy scary fucking Oh, I climbed that mountain. And they're no. not that big. No, but it's a mountain. I'm not dissing Iceland's mountains. Sorry, y'all. Damn. But you know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking I, Canadian Rockies. Fuck <laughs> off. Those are, that's like some <clears throat> mountain type shit. So when you tattoo Americans in Iceland, mm -hmm. are they usually the hillbilly type? Redneck type? In my mind, they are. <laughs> Um, but they might just be Wall Street guys from New York. Yeah. No, oft, no very, very few times do I get country folk. <laughs> <laughs> and because I lived in the South for so long, I can identify with the country folk. I know, you know, we can talk about eating gator and all kind of shit. Um, but most of them are like, lately I've been tattooing a lot of Navy dudes because Navy dudes are, are here because yeah. of something. And uh Yeah. And none of them have ever been on a ship. I was like, man, what kind of Navy motherfucker are you? Never been on a ship. What do you mean never been on a ship? Yeah, you can apparently be in the Navy and just, I don't know, fix tires or something or- What? Stock snacks. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, I, and I'm like, where's the fucking anchors and the mermaids? And, you know, where's your white clothes- Because I'm old. I probably assume that all Navy dudes from you know, the 50s. Yeah, are from like 1942 <laughs> when America was great. <laughs> Which that term right there, make America great again. Yeah. Okay. In my mind as an American, the last time America was great was like World War II. People, people banded together and motherfuckers would voluntarily join the army to fight the influx of the the Nazis and, and junk like that. Um People cared about America, but at the same time, they were still really mean to black folks back then, like really the worst. So it wasn't really great. No, not really. What so about after 9-11? Eh, that was even worse. Really? That was even fucking worse, man. I thought people came together. And no, only out of fear. Like, oh, he has a beard and he, he's got brown eyes. Get him. Uh. Everybody was just so fucking racist against anybody who was not lily fucking white. Yeah. Holy shit. It, it was shitty. And on the news, they would have a terror meter that would go from green to orange to red. And every night on the news, because America lives in fear, that's how America lives. Um, oh, the terror alert, alert is set at uh, yellow tonight. So if you see any suspicious activity, call the hotline. What the fuck is suspicious activity? Like there was a guy right after 9-11 who was at the gym talking shit about the president and said something about building a bomb. You know, just people talking shit. He wound up in fucking jail. 
They came and got him. And everybody knows, everybody knows that 9-11 was an inside job. And that was all George Bush, y'all. Controlled demolition, motherfucker. Thermite. Look it up. Is that a conspiracy theory or is that a fact? That's legit, bro. I do own a tinfoil hat, but... <laughs> you sometimes put it on? Mm, this is right here in my pocket. Um, no, I... Uh, I 100% believe that. We needed a, a a reason to go liberate over there. And uh, yeah, what better idea than they, oh, they killed our people, which we killed our people. Oh my God, I shouldn't be saying none Fuck. of this. No, I really believe 9-11, that was us. Us. Controlled demolition, thermite, fucking... Oh my God, my tinfoil hat is poking the fuck out. <laughs> You can say whatever you the want. Pentagon, this is a safe space. The Pentagon, missile like a motherfucker. Where's all the wreckage? Every piece of wreckage from that, they could carry in their hand. Where's the fucking engines? Where's all the car, the, the fucking 150 seats? Nah. A couple little pieces of tin foil, a little hunk of aluminum. <clears throat> and isn't it correct that I think it was like the day before or something, they announced that they had lost like a trillion dollars or something. Rumsfeld had held a uh, a press conference saying he lost trillions of money. So here's the two towers. Here's another tower just way the fuck over here. And the floor that got hit was the floor where the accounting for those trillions was. Now, hmm. and if you've ever seen a controlled demolition, it falls straight down. Bro. Come on. You got me convinced. Yeah, yeah. I mean, spend an hour on YouTube. And that's not, by the way, where I get all my information. <laughs> but um, as an American, I saw that shit happen that morning. I had gotten home about eight something in the morning and was watching that shit on the news. I was like, fuck. And I lived in Louisiana at the time, which there's hella oil refineries. So the the vibe in Louisiana was like, be on the lookout for suspicious people because, yeah, that's that that was definitely a target. Oil refinery places, us uh, in Texas and places like that. So, yeah, it was I, – I was scared. My alert meter was on orange. You know, I was like, fuck, we're next. Who knows? Yeah, it, it was – Nothing happened. No. <clears throat> but as an American, it was, it was very scary. But I – no, nah, man. Osama bin Laden had nothing to do with that shit. No. Fuck. Let's go back to movies, Jason. Oh, my God. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm getting depressed. I, I like, get arrested. Oh, yeah, so number nine. Inside job. And <laughs> okay, number nine. Uh, mm, it's a tie. It's So it's two movies. No. What do you mean? Okay. If it's a tie, it's got to be two movies. Okay. It Three is, movies. It is two. <laughs> so two movies... In ninth place. Yeah. Okay. I just recently saw this one. It's called Nobody with Bob Odenkirk. Oh, yeah. Fuck my life. The first eight minutes, I'm like, I'm going to turn this shit off. This is boring. This old nerd-ass movie. <laughs> it's fucking some dad, a bullshit-ass job. Then he gets on that bus, says, lock the door. I was like, ooh, I'm in. And it's just holy fucking shit. That movie rocked. I agree. I loved that one. Yes. Not one minute except the first four minutes where I was just like, okay, yes, more, more, more. And the fucking Russian guys, come on. Who doesn't love a Russian bad guy? That's just awesome. And he fucks everybody up. <laughs> fucks them up. <laughs> Do you like movies like that? I love movies with like that. With a guy like, you know, don't fuck with him. Just yeah. leave him alone. There was a movie with Michael Douglas back in the day where he was uh, uh, falling down. Same he, vibe. He was more of a, a psycho. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like it when... when Like an ex-Special Forces guy. It's bad always guy an ex-Special Forces But it's fun. Guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not mad at that. Like, don't... Just leave him alone. So the other part of number nine is a movie I just recently saw. It's called from Finland called Sisu. Oh, Have you seen this? No, but I want to see it. Fuck. It's like a Finnish version of John Wick or something. Mm, I can't. I he fucks wanna, everybody up, right? Oh, he's fucking up Nazis, homie. <laughs> so it's it's 
<laughs> I don't want to ruin it, but no, don't don't spoil the movie. It's good as fuck. Would you? Say, I know it's a tie, mm -hmm. but if I put you on the spot, is it better than nobody? Did you have more fun watching Caesar than nobody? <sighs> that's why it's a tie. I know. That's why I'm putting you on the spot. Fuck it. I'll go with nobody. It's just. So Sisu is a little bit. 1.1% less fucking awesome than nobody. But that movie is from Finland. Yeah. So did you watch it with. Subtitle like a motherfucker. So you don't watch like dubbed movies. No, those are the worst. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> nobody wants to see that. I don't. I'm just asking. It aggravates you. the piss out of me. <laughs> like, yeah. So if like the main guy in Sisu would have like an American voice. Would that have bothered you? Yeah, because for one, if I'm acting, I'm going to put, you know, oomph into it and like act. You uh, know what I mean? If uh, I get shot, I'm not going to be like, oh, dang, you shot me. I'm going to scream, you know, and dub is just some asshole sitting in a fucking studio. Dang, you shot me. I, I, <laughs> I feel it doesn't have the same kick. So I'd rather watch a movie in the, the native tongue and just watch the dummy fucking subtitles. But I assume that you didn't, you know, grow up with reading subtitles. Nope. Okay, so when you started reading subtitled movies or watching subtitled movies, did it like take you uh, a few tries to, you know? Mm, yeah, it it took a cuz I'm I want to watch the what's going on because with the subtitles you have to, you know, keep yeah, looking down. Yeah. You have to kind of you're missing a little bit something. But like I'm used to it because I grew up on, you know, American movies uh, with subtitles, so I'm used to Icelandic people are used to I've it. only been watching subtitled movies since I moved here. Because in America, I ain't watching no goddamn subtitled movie. What? Oh, a foreign-ass movie. Yeah. Sorry. So you only watched American movies in America? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I probably watched a couple of dubbed, but they aggravate me. I don't like it when the words don't, don't match, match the, up. No, no. Yeah. That, that's not for me. No. So Sisu, I mean, did Fuck anybody... Yes. Suggested to you? No. Why it did was, you watch uh, it? Uh, I was using a website called Soap Today where you can like uh, watch movies. Oh, I know, I know about that website. Yeah, I love that. Fucking no cams, HD shit. And I'm like, just because that's where I, I don't, I've already watched every movie Netflix has to offer and ever <laughs> will have to offer. So I need to dig deeper. I'm like, mm -hmm, scrolling I'm like, see, see, what the fuck is that? And I like movies about World War II shit. I'm just weird like that. I'm like, dang, he's fucking up Nazis. I'm in. Click. <laughs> and from go, I'm like, yeah, I gotta oh, watch this is that for, movies. I fucking, so, like, if yeah, between Nobody and Sisu, 51, 49. Okay, I'm going to make a promise to my audience, or listeners. I'm going to watch Sisu before I release this episode. Ah, okay. Movie's dope, y'all. Check it out. <laughs> it's violent, right? Woo. Gory. It's more violent than fucking nobody. Yeah. Better violence, I'm going to say. He uses knives and stuff Ooh, like that. I can't tell you. <laughs> Give me a little bit. A, li a little taste. Maybe a guy gets his whole jaw ripped off. I don't know. That might have <laughs> happened. I might have hallucinated it. I don't know. <laughs> not, you know, not with bare hands. What? I don't know. So the main guy rips someone's know, jaw. Maybe. You'll never know unless you watch it. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking dope. Violent. So good. <laughs> okay, I got to check that one out. Yeah. Because I love movies like that. Okay, so number eight. Uh, also another another tie, but... Snatch. What? So it's not really ten movies. Mm -hmm. You were like, oh, I, oh, look, I just fold the paper in half. I, I forgot that, I d that there's ties. <laughs> okay. But this is the last tie in my top ten. Okay, so you have another tie. No. For eighth place. And it's basically the same movie, but Snatch is my number eight. Okay, and the other one is Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels. But Lockstock is better, Jason. No, I'm trying but to But I really you. like Brad Pitt. I, I like <laughs> wait, is Jason Statham in Lockstock? He's in both of them. Okay, I I love that motherfucker. He has the best accent on the planet. I <laughs> Can you do an impression of Jason? No, I, I wish I could. And I love accents. Like people at work, uh, like at one point, we had a Korean dude, a Russian girl, 
a guy from Poland, uh, a guy from Ukraine. It was like the United Nations at my shop. You know what I mean? We, and, I, and we would play Cards Against Humanity. And sometimes I use accent like Eastern European, maybe like this. And, and as an American, I'm killing it. That's fucking Eastern <laughs> European as fuck, bro. <laughs> Hire me to be the next bad guy in any movie. I will, uh, I will maybe kill you with this. Um, I like using accents. But are they any good? I think they are. Which they they amuse me. So yes. But what about the people in your shop? I mean, if you they're they maybe the... tired of me talking like this. <laughs> but do they buy it? Are they like, oh, that's pretty good? They know me well enough, and I've done it so many times. They're like, like what <laughs> one one time I was tattooing my apprentice for an entire day, and I was just using this old southern uh, gay man's voice like this, just silly as fuck the whole time. And he's like, Jason, it's just you and I. Please stop this. <laughs> I was like, yo, big silly, don't tell me to stop. Because I knew a dude like this. Because I lived in the South for a really long time. And there really is big old silly man like that down there. And so I really appreciate people's accents. doesn't matter who you are, what race or what you're into. Who I, I love accents. But man, the South is so, damn, so goddamn old good, man. So that's your favorite one? A little bit. Okay, so Brad Pitt in Snatch. I just, I just like that movie. It's it's a good ass movie. But Lock and Lockstock wasn't it directed by the same guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, guy Ritchie, love that motherfucker. I think it's only like two years apart. Yeah, everything that dude's made, fucking golden. Everything. Have you seen like his newest stuff? Like what? I mean, he did like I think he did uh, the Disney movie like Aladdin. With yeah, I wasn't mad at that. I got kids. I've seen that motherfucker like eight times. <laughs> I know all the fucking songs. <laughs> fucking Will Smith for the genie. Yeah, did, win. Did you see Wrath of Man? Mm -mm. What? Is that him as well? Yeah, oh. with Jason. Statham. He, I'm plays, a bad mo he plays a bad Best motherfucker. Best of both worlds? Yeah, you got to see that one. I mean, I don't think Jason Statham's ever been in a, a rom-com. He's always... I mean, he's a, he's a tough guy. Fuck yeah, he is. Do you want to see him in... Uh, no, ew, gross. No. What about the Meg? Did you see that one? Oh, Jesus fucking H Christ! <laughs> what a piece of fucking shit! I actually watched the Meg Part Two last week with really? my daughter. I was like, so oh, you wait. went to the movies? No, fuck. So today, what? Yeah, it's already on there in HD. No way. Mm -hmm. Cam quality. No. HD. H my fucking D. Do you ever pay for movies, Jason? All the time. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> okay, you gotta you gotta give me something. Meg too. Um a piece of shit. It was produced by Jason Statham. Now, fuck you, Jason Statham. You should be ashamed of yourself to ever show your face in public again, you motherfucker. <laughs> But was it fun? No. So it was also it was, boring. All right, check it out. He's at twenty eight thousand feet in the bottom of the Mariana Trench crushing fucking depths, right? As the, the the homemade sub guys found out a couple weeks ago. <sighs> He free dives, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Jason Statham. <laughs> He's on top. All right, so there's three Megs chasing him, right? Three. Three. Yeah, three. Oh, spoiler. spoiler. <laughs> yeah. So one, okay, so he's on a jet ski. Here's a giant Meg. Oh, tries to get him, but misses him. So he's riding a fucking wave on a jet ski, one-handed with a fucking spear with explosives. Fuck you, Jason Statham. So <laughs> he fucking spears a shark with explosives, blows him, uh, shark dies. Fuck off. This is the worst fucking movie ever. And it's one of those movies where you can't even like suspend your belief of like how, I don't know, reality works. Like John Wick movies. Fuck you, John Wick, in your bulletproof suit. Suck a, suck a dick. No such thing. But I love those movies. Okay. Especially when you got kicked down them fucking stairs 75 fucking times. <laughs> But after a while, you're like, ding, 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 ding. Fuck off. But it looks cool, right? It does. I'm not mad at those movies. But you do have to suspend your belief of reality a little bit. But with the Mac 2, you have to like throw it out the window. It was rough. 
was. Because I hated the first one. Yeah. Oh, this one's even worse. Yeah. It was, it was terrible. But is there like a bad movie, a movie that you consider like, oh my God, this is a horrible movie, but I still enjoy it. Some people call it like a guilty pleasure movie. Yeah. Any of the three Star Wars that were made after the first original. I love those movies, but. You love the original movies? Yeah. Are you talking about the, the prequel movies? Yeah. With hey, <laughs> all of them. Mm. R- Revenge of the I, Sith. That's I like, a decent movie, I like right? the one where, where you know, Anakin gets burned up and turns into Darth Vader. That, what's that one called? Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, I like that one. That one's okay. And I like the one that has Darth Maul because Darth Maul is fucking dope. Why are we having Han Solo movies on all these? Where's Darth Maul's fucking movie? There was so much backstory on that motherfucker. He lived for a thousand years just full of hate with no fucking legs. And God damn. A thousand years. I just made that, that part up. But like <laughs> after he got chopped in half, yeah, he fucked off to I forget what planet because I'm not that deep into the, but I do love Star Wars. Fucking A. But you would not consider yourself a Star Wars nerd. Yeah. Just not like high level. Like, like not like nerd nerd. Not like I live in my grandma's basement. <laughs> that type of shit. But I'll I'll fucking kick you some knowledge. You know what I mean? <laughs> All that shit. Um, but yeah, there, he has an awesome backstory, Darth Maul. What do you think about Star Wars after Disney bought Lucasfilm? <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Um, although The Mandalorian, sick. Book of Boba Fett, sick. Baby fucking Yoda. Groku, are you fucking kidding me? I'm a grown ass man. And when he was getting fucked up, I was like, no, no, no. What's going to happen to Groku? I was invested in that little motherfucker. That motherfucker's cute as a motherfucker. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> The cutest thing ever to exist. What about Andor? Did you see that one? I didn't watch one fucking frame of that shit. What? I don't want to watch. All right. I, I started to. I got about 12 minutes in. And I was like, suck my dick. I don't know none of these motherfuckers. What is all these people from fucking Rogue One, the worst movie ever? <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not investing nothing in this. But it's really good. Ask Kilo. Hey, sewer rat might taste like pumpkin pie, but I'll never know because I'll never eat that filthy motherfucker. You'd have to be five times more charming than that pig on green acres. How you like them apples? Okay. What were we talking about? We were talking about Snatch uh, and Lockstock. Yeah. I was going to ask you about Brad Pitt's accent. I can't even do it. It's so fucking good. <laughs> so you would consider that a good accent? I don't Does know. Does he pull I'm, it off? I've never met a... a A, a gypsy or pikey, but whatever they're called. But before. like Brad Pitt's an American. Yeah. And he's playing a, a gypsy. Well, a funny Did story. Did you buy it? They wanted him to play Jason Statham in that movie. But his English accent was so poor. They're like, you know what? Let's make him the gypsy dude because that's just such a weird accent. Nobody will even ever know. Yeah. I just <laughs> I just learned that like maybe four days ago. Really? I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. So he was supposed to play the Jason Statham. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, I like Snatch. Yeah. I mean, it's a fun movie. What's his nuts? Uh, Bel Benicio Del Toro? Yeah. Come on. I mean. That, My Finger Frankie? So good. That, and Bricktop. The yeah. bad guy with the pigs. Yeah, yeah. He's fun. The guy who beat the motherfucker to death with a dildo? So good. And Bullet Tooth Tony? That Bullet motherfucker? Bullet Tooth Tony, yeah, yeah. I love that dude. He, I believe... I know he he was a footballer yeah. originally, but I really believe he is that guy. Does he pull off being a being a tough guy? Fuck yes, he does. I think he's a real tough guy. I I do too. <laughs> I think he really does have a bullet in his teeth. <laughs> I, I, no, but, I don't know about that. But I've seen him in like Rise of the Foot Soldier and shit. And that was a good movie. Yeah, yeah. Underrated. You know what was not a good movie? Green Street Hooligans. Whoever fucking cast that doughy-eyed fucking elf motherfucker. What's his What's his name? Fucking Elijah Proto. Woods. Suck a dick. <laughs> You're supposed to be a football hooligan. Fuck off. Okay, so bear with me. It's been a while since I saw Green Street. Uh, wasn't he supposed to be like an outsider? I don't even remember. I hated it so bad. <laughs> I just remember watching it and I was like, fuck this. This is not cool. I thought it was supposed to be like an American who came to... Sure. We'll England. Go with that. Do you know what I mean? He, I think it was. He was like an import and was like, oh, football. I, oh, I'll try that. I don't know. But he had no business being in that movie. 
Hate that dude. But <laughs> he was good in Sin City, though. Yes. Is that creepy dude? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him that. You have his, to give him that. His career has been reconciled, in my opinion, because of Sin City. Because Other than of his, that, <laughs> because of his role in Sin City, where, where he was, uh, he was a cannibal. That creepy dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sin people. City. That whole movie was so dope. It's just awesome. Fucking great yeah, yeah. movie. And I hated the Lord of the Rings. All of them. What? Explain yourself, Jason. Why did you hate them? If you made me watch Lord of the Rings, I don't think I could stay awake throughout the whole movie. There are parts I I like movies like. I like movies where I can get, I like long movies. Movies like Oppenheimer, I just saw that. I'm in. Fucking three hours, cool. I'm just going to shut off and be in the movie. I'm invested in this guy and that guy. Oh, what's that guy doing back there? I want to, yes. And Lord of the Rings, as well as Harry Potter's, you can just, you're in that universe and you're like, yeah, fucking wizard and the fucking stick and the roots and all, all that shit. But yeah. You don't like fantasy? No, I love that shit. What? But there's just something about it. Most of that movie is the fucking hobbits just walking around. I like the orcs and the fucking elves and the, the fucking ears and where the Aragon and all that shit. But it's all the filler. Like, y'all are talking too much. <laughs> but that's... that's Have you me. ever seen them, you know, in their entirety? Yeah, like, yeah. You've watched them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you just even don't with like them. Harry Potter movies, I'm excited. I'm like, oh, new, new, new Harry Potter movie. Check that out. <laughs> <laughs> but you have kids. Yeah. How old are they? Nine and 16. I assume they've seen Harry Potter movies and yeah. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, but. Did you watch it with them? I tried. I tried to get them to watch Star Wars too and like that. This is stupid. <laughs> what? Even the original ones? Yeah. My wife <sighs> does not care for Star Wars. I love my wife to the ends of the earth. And because she's a trooper, she's like, all right, I'll check it out. So we're watching Star Wars, the the, the OG, right? Right as Princess Leia is putting the plans into RTD, she's like, you know what? This is stupid. Talking robots. This is just... I'm like, oh. So she saw like five minutes. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Thank you for trying. Thank you. So I, I, I got a hold of uh, Blue Harvest, the family guy, Star Wars. Blue Harvest. Frame for frame, they did Star Wars, but with all the family guy guys. So good. But I'm, I'm Blue easy. Blue Harvest. Yeah. And yeah, right about 10 minutes into it, she's like, nope. Talking robots. This is stupid. <laughs> Okay, so let's keep going. Snats, Lockstock, yep, great crime movies, funny. Yes. What's um, number seven? Number seven, Gone Girl. Oh, the Fincher movie? Ben Affleck. Hey, David Fincher directed the... Uh, I thought Ben Affleck directed it. What? No. Okay, well, you're smarter than me. Did we'll you? go with that. <laughs> okay. All right, I thought Ben Affleck directed this this whole time. No. But, um, okay, fuck yeah for Fincher. <laughs> David. So you Fincher. thought like, did you see it when it was brand new? Like, in, I think it's from 2014. So today, homie. Jesus. <laughs> you never go to the movies. Uh, if it's some sick shit, like. Like Oppenheimer. You saw that in the. In a, what? I meant to, but nobody wanted to go with me. <laughs> and like. I can't believe what I'm hearing, Jason. I know. I, I fucked up. I mean, I got a big ass TV, but it's not big enough. And yeah. Because. uh. By the time I, Kilo said he would go with me, but just what work, just I'm always fucking working and kids and mm, stuff. I, yeah, I fucked up. If any movie <laughs> in the past 10 years should have been viewed there. It should have been that. That movie was sick. <laughs> but yeah, Gone Girl. Gone Girl, okay. Uh, was Aragon, Arago, directed by Matt Affleck? Argo, yeah, yeah. That was Matt Affleck. Okay, that was a good movie too, but it yep. didn't make the list. Ben. And he also he also made the town. Oh, that's on the list too. I, oh, really? I like Ben Affleck way better behind the camera than in front. I think I agree with you. Although I like his Bruce Wayne. I do too. Um, I don't like his Batman. What? Eh. Fucking Christo uh, Christian. Christian Bale. Bale. That's Batman. Or Michael Keaton. All them other 
butt hats, fucking George Clooney, Val Kilmer. <clears throat> what about Robert Pattinson, the newest Batman? I wasn't mad at it. I liked it, but Catwoman, fuck you. What a weak ass mask. <laughs> She looked pretty sick all the way up to her neck. And then, oh, I ran out of money on my costume. I'm just going to cut a hole in a fucking beanie. <laughs> fuck off. I was so mad at that. But I, I, I wasn't. I, and I believe Robert Pattinson redeemed himself from the Sparkly Vampire series. Yeah, that was ages ago. Still happened. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> still happened. But you can't still blame him for those uh, movies. Yes, I can. <laughs> and I will continue to. Although, uh, I saw The Lighthouse. You seen that? Yeah. Woo! That motherfucker can act. He's a great actor. He is. He just got tied up as a kid in the wrong shit. Like, like some these kids. Yeah. He should. Yeah. But isn't it unfair to, you know, keep blaming him? Nope. For the, what? <laughs> Sparkly vampire. Fuck you. So he's just fucked for life. Yeah. But I, I do think that he redeemed himself. He, I, I, I wasn't mad at the Batman movie, and when I saw the Lighthouse, he's a good fucking actor. He's a. I've even seen some other th shit. Um, for a while, I hated Daniel Radcliffe, but he's also a good actor. Yeah. Uh, Victor Frankenstein. I haven't seen that one. Woo! So good. He, he I, I like him too. Okay, so what were we talking about? Gone Girl. Yeah. Why did you like that one? It was fucking, I don't like movies where you're like, okay, mm -hmm, this guy's going to get this guy. Okay, I know. I, I don't even need to finish watching this. I know where this is going. Up until the last three minutes of that movie, you're like, where is this? Oh, I thought that, okay, we're not doing that. Okay, this is, wow, I didn't expect that. Yeah. So it surprised you. Yes. I like movies that aren't predictable. Yeah. And Gone Girl was unpredictable as fuck. Brutal as well. I mean, the yeah. scene where she kills the guy. Yeah, yeah. Just good fucking movie. What about Seven? The movie Seven. What? Mm. Okay. You, you you like that one. Same director, David as I, Fincher. As I, All right. Yeah. That's not a predictable movie. No. What's in the box? And it's gory. Yeah, yeah. It, it was okay. It's thrilling. Great actors. You know his worst movie of all time? What? Inception. <laughs> what? Yes. Worst movie. Yes. Second worst. What was the movie with Leo DiCaprio where it was a dream inside of a dream? That's Inception. Yeah, fuck that movie. <laughs> what was the one with Matthew McConaughey behind the bookshelf floating? Interstellar. Fuck that movie too. So you don't like Christopher Nolan. He directed both those movies. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> but but whoa, I like his Batmans. But, 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 oh. You know, take us. Let's take a step back. Mm -hmm. You say you're really saying that Inception is the worst movie ever. Hated it. Why? You don't. You make, have to elaborate. You can't just make throw me this. Fucking think while I'm watching a movie. <laughs> I want to be entertained. Don't make. Don't confuse me. Yeah. Like that, what was it? Doctor Strange in the fucking multi-universe inside of a universe inside of a... Fuck off. That's just a bad movie. Yeah, okay, it was. Inception's but, not a bad movie, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> You're the first guy ever I know. on this podcast who says that Inception... Kilo and is, I got in a fight over this at work. <laughs> Fuck you! That dude's a genius! <laughs> I'm like, he can suck my dick. But he so, has made awesome movies, though. So did you really think Inception was bad? I hated it. Boring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so boring. I, I, I don't know what to say. I didn't like Shutter Island either. And I've watched what? it like four times. That's also a great movie. Who made, who made that one? Scorsese. Mm. He made your favorite movie. Okay, I guess I have to like <laughs> Damn it. Come closer to the but, mic, Jason. But um, it was... It was... Uh, It was okay. But I, I just don't like What, being confused. Shutter Island or Inception? Both. Shutter Island was better. <clears throat> Do you like Leo as an actor? Yeah. Uh, I think one of his finest cinematic offerings was either The Revenant, which I think it won like 47 Academy Awards or something. Something like that. Yeah. And um, Catch Me If You Can. That's a good one. Love that movie. Because that's the kind of movie where you get sucked in 
and even though you know your your dinner is burning and the kids are like dad i want nah, something you can get sucked into this movie and i like to i like yeah i like to get sucked into movies and just be in the movie and like yeah this is happening and that was one of those kind of movies catch me if you can <clears throat> it's based on a true story yep. supposedly a true story the real dude is at the end frank Abigail yeah I, and i know i know but i read like Two months ago, hmm? I think it's kind of bullshit. It's he, lies. I think you it's lied. True. No, it's all true. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, my, my my question is: I know you like Goodfellas. Yes, you you know that slipped out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like movies based on true stories? Yes. When my wife and I first got together, we were watching like The Hills Have Eyes, and I was like, "Hey, you know, it's a true story, right? It's based on truth." No, it's not. I'm like, I know that. <laughs> I thought you were trying to fool me. <laughs> no, no, no. And like, uh, yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. True story. True story. And after a while, she got wise and was like, fuck you. This isn't a true story. <laughs> she's she's smart. So, but yeah. Have you seen Fargo? Yeah. Okay. So at the beginning, hmm? it says based on a true story. It means it's true. <laughs> They wouldn't lie. The funny thing is, Coen Brothers, the directors, They just made that up. There was like, they, they, I think one of the actors asked them, like, oh, tell me about the true story. What happened? Mm. They were like, uh, actually, it didn't really happen, but maybe it happened somewhere. Okay. So they put like based on a true story. So it was Damn, like a I lie. It was real. No, it's not. People went to look. You, you, mean, nope. you remember the movie? People a guy went really to look did for get the, put in a wood chipper. <laughs> but did you know that people went to look for the case, the money case, the suitcase with, that was full of money? Like D.B. Cooper. Yeah, they looked for it. Okay. Which is insane. But anyway, what were we talking about? Gone Girl. Gone Girl. Yeah. yeah. Number what? And that's not, uh, number eight? Number seven? Ten, nine, eight, seven. Seven. Okay. You like Gone Girl, but you hated Inception. Yeah. We went from Gone Girl to Inception. Oh, I was actually asking you about seven. Yeah. Why didn't you like seven? Mm. Also, 12 Monkeys sucked. <laughs> After talking to you for over an hour and, you know, seeing your taste in movies, I'm not surprised that you didn't like 12 Monkeys because that makes you think. Yeah. Time travel and stuff like that. Weird. But Seven is just a serial kill movie. Yeah. I think I've only seen it maybe once or twice What? and maybe I should revisit this this movie. Okay. I think that would be right up your alley. Perhaps, seven. Perhaps I will. <laughs> okay. What's number six? It's another tie, but I'm going to go with uh, Tim Burton's Batman. From 1989. Yep. Would you call that the original Batman? Fuck no. I'm old as fuck. The original Batman is Adam West. Old school. Corny as fuck. <laughs> that Batman was not cool. No, but that's what I grew up on. Fucking uh, towel around my neck. Fucking playing that shit. Oh, that was the jam. So when you saw... Tim Burton's Batman. What was your first reaction? Seeing a Batman that was, you know, had the cool outfit. He was a bad motherfucker. One word. Catwoman. <laughs> so you were more into Catwoman. But that's... that's uh, and in the that. Batman was sick. And Michael Keaton totally pulled it off. But well, Catwoman doesn't come, you know, until the second one. Batman Returns. Oh, maybe it's Batman Returns then. Are you sure? <laughs> Oh, I'm sure. Okay. Whatever one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's the bad guy? Oh, fucking. The Joker. The worst Joker of all of the Jokers ever. Jack Nicholson. The worst Joker. The worst. That was shitty. Worse than Jared Leto in Suicide? I liked Jared Leto. They just, they just dicked him over and didn't let him. Do his thing. Do his thing. Yeah. You have many hot takes, Jason. What's a hot take? What a hot take is something that. You just throw out there that a lot of people will disagree with you. I know that, but I'm that guy. I I make no excuses. I, I like what I like. And, you know, fuck me if you don't like what I like. It's cool. But I like guests that are like that. So is it Batman Returns? Is that the one with Catwoman? With Catwoman okay. and Penguin. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is it the one with the, with the Joker? Nope. Uh, the Catwoman one. 
<laughs> the Joker one was cool. Prince did the soundtrack. Yeah. Yay. And of course, 1989, you know, it was, that was new shit. Fuck yeah. New Batman. It was awesome. But I. You prefer the second one. Yeah. Because of Catwoman. Fuck yeah. Is it because of Catwoman or is it because of Michelle Pfeiffer? Both. That she, to me, is fucking Catwoman. Holly Berry. <laughs> suck a dick. Fucking, what's her, what's her nuts? Uh, Anne Hathaway. Whatever. No, thank you. And the newest one, uh, Zoe Kravitz. Meh. If she, <laughs> if Meh. she would have had a proper mask. Maybe. Catwoman. I, I just, I, I just really like that one. It was a, uh, Shiny. The whole movie was very slick. Danny DeVito, goth as fuck, just creepy. And yeah, I, I I dig it. I dig Tim Burton. Although I watched Beetlejuice like last week with my daughter. Man, it just didn't hit the same. It looked like they had about a four hundred dollar budget for that movie. <laughs> but that I, movie's fun. It is. It is. But watching it again, I was like, man, this just don't hit like I remember it did. So it didn't age well. Meh. <laughs> Just, you know, yeah, the special effects were kind of cheesy, but it's fucking Beetlejuice. Did you know that they're making Beetlejuice too? Yeah, and somebody stole props from it already. One of uh, the Oh, the, the statue. Yeah, the statue yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. Um, I'm not mad at that. I'll, I'll fucking see that shit. On soap today. No, I'll go to the movies for that one. Really? Yeah, yeah. Are you making a promise right now on the show that you're going to see it? Yes, at the I am <laughs> out there in TV land. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're going to see Beetlejuice 2 hmm? at the cinema. Yeah. And not Inception. I'm going I'm to hold you to that. Yeah, yeah. Jason. Yep. I think they really. We'll go together. It. I'll buy you popcorn. <laughs> Just so I can prove I'm not a liar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Batman Returns, hmm? Catwoman. Okay. Be honest. Is it because she's a great character or did you have a crush on Michelle Pfeiffer? Both. She was just foxy and that and fucking, fun. that cat suit is the cat suit. <laughs> just in my humble opinion. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. And plus as a kid growing up on the, the original TV series, Catwoman was a jam. I remember Batman had that little thing thing. You didn't know what was going on there. Um, yeah, but that that just did it for me. That that Batman. I like the Danny DeVito thing and just Tim Burton's a cool guy. Would you call that a kids movie? No. <laughs> it's dark. It's really dark. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I watch it with my daughter and she's like, "Dad, am I allowed to watch this?" I was like, "Yeah. <laughs> I'm your dad. Sure. It's okay." <laughs> but yeah, I, it's it's a bit dark, yeah. What about you mentioned Val Kilmer and George Clooney as Batman? <laughs> What about Batman Forever and Batman and Robin? Did you see that one? Holy, I've seen all of them. Did they suck? They were the worst. George Clooney and his bat nipples, fuck off. And although <laughs> Mr. Freeze is with Arnold, the awesomest casting ever. I love that character. Do you really love I him? Cool or? off us. <laughs> yeah, that I like that character. But he's silly. Yeah, it's the whole movie was silly. <laughs> Holy shit. It, it was like a cheesy fucking rave with all the fucking colors and it was just silly. It was a bad time in the world. But you would prefer it to Inception. Mm. You said it's Inception is the worst movie of all time. I don't know. George Clooney was pretty goddamn bad though. <laughs> yeah. So it's a toss up between Batman and Robin and Inception. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. That is a hot take, yeah. Jason. Although, uh, when Christian Bale came out as Batman, I think the Dark Knight, the Dark Knight, Batman Begins was the first one. Yeah, with him. that was the jam. That was they took that in a whole other direction. I was like, although I do like Catwoman and Danny DeVito and all that, that was like kind of wacky and silly. This was dark. That was. So okay. do you like all of his Batman movies? Crystal Nolan, yes. Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, mm -hmm. and Dark Knight Rises. Do you like all of them? Yep. Which I one like, is the uh, best? The one with Heath Ledger. The Dark Knight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. 
the one the Dark Knight. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, awesome. And not because Heath Ledger died and all that and uh, whatever. He was just a good ass Joker. That was, I like his take on that. I yeah. think everybody did. Yeah, because it was fucking good. Yeah, really and good. Uh, I like the one with Bane too because there was an awesome ass backstory where he, not Qui Gon Jinn, uh, Ross Al Ghul. Yeah, same dude though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Liam Neeson played yeah, him. Guys, yeah, um, yeah, good ass backstory on, on on that and all that. I like backstories. I like to know where stuff comes. I have from. to ask you about Bane because you were telling me that you like accents. Mm -hmm. He's got a weird voice. Yep, <clears throat> the voice Tom Hardy does for Bane. A lot of people didn't like it. I did. I loved it. Yeah, I thought them. it was fun. Fuck them if they don't it was like it. Different. Yeah. So you liked it? Yes. I like Tom Hardy. He's a fucking awesome actor. Oh, he's great. Yeah. Um, and if you notice, a lot of his movies, they put shit on his face because he doesn't need to act with his cute face and all that stuff. Uh, he's just a fucking badass. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I have to say about it. It's that. as simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I like that uh, voice, although it was very similar to, uh, what was it, Ari Samuels or whatever from Peaky Blinders? Oh, he did the... Same voice for that guy. Very similar. But eh. but is it too much? Nope. Is it too theatrical? Nope. It was awesome. <laughs> I liked it. I did too. Yeah, yeah. I'm not mad at all at any of the Christopher Long Batmans. Ben Affleck as Batman. You didn't like that one. Meh. You thought his Bruce Wayne was okay, but not as Batman. Yeah, I like him as Bruce Wayne. But, the, but he was a badass as Batman. He was. But his face looks weird in the mask. As simple as that. Sorry. <laughs> so it's more that you have a problem with Affleck as Batman or his suit or his cow. I, I like the suit. The suit was cool. It was super retro and just, you know. But not the, I think his face didn't fit the mask. Yeah, it just, it was so different from <laughs> Michael Keaton and fucking. Uh, yeah, that's true. Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Yeah. Did you like Christian Bale's Batman voice? A lot of people didn't. Uh, it's very dark and spooky. That was kind of Beetlejuicey, actually. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> that was a Beetlejuice impression. Yeah, Beetlejuice as Batman. Uh, because it was uh, maybe a little bit too It much. was forced. Yeah. But the growling. Still badass. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so. You have Batman Returns. Yeah. Okay. That's number six. Yeah. Number five. Gladiator. Russell Crowe. Okay, Gladiator. Yes. That is a movie where you watch it and you forget all about the whole rest of the world because you're in that movie and you're like, fuck, what's going to happen? Oh, the this guy and fucking, oh, the guy who played the Joker. What's his nuts? Joaquin Phoenix is such a good bad guy. I fucking hate that dude. I hope he dies. <laughs> and he, yeah, and that movie was so fucking well acted that... You hate that motherfucker. You want him to be dismembered so badly, Joaquin Phoenix. And Russell Crowe. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome fucking movie. Are you going to see Gladiator 2 at the movies? Or what? They're making Gladiator 2. Fuck too. off. You Is Russell Crowe in it? No. Okay, with his old fat self. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> the funny thing is, Russell Crowe keeps getting asked about Gladiator 2. And he's getting kind of pissed off. He's like, guys, I died in the first movie. I'm not in the second one. Uh, did he, though? Yes. What do you mean? I don't know. He we don't know. We you think he survived? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe he went on to, like, the Roman version of Valhalla. And I don't know. Okay. He's, yeah, he, he died. <laughs> he's, not, he's not going to show up in yeah, number two. He legit died. Okay. So now that you know, they're making Gladiator 2. I think it's like his son Terrible. or something. Fuck off. It's terrible. Bad idea. You're not going to see it. It's yeah, the same also, director. Of course I'll see it. Are you going to see it at the movies? I'm not going to be real happy about it. I'll be like this. Brian. What is your ass movie? Are you going to pay for a ticket and see it at the movies? No. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to see Beetlejuice 2, but not Gladiator 2. <laughs> I probably will. If Kilo, That's will, if a Kilo lie. will go with me. <laughs> okay, Gladiator. Why is that a good movie? Because you can... Start to finish, you're invested in the characters. You're sucked in. You're fucking in Rome or wherever the fuck it is. Uh, <laughs> and just, <laughs> it's so 
you yeah I, I like movies where i am in the movie with those guys like yeah okay it just yeah i like to get sucked into movies and just don't fuck don't bother me for 2.5 hours i'm here watching this guy doing this thing okay now i'm gonna put you on the spot again huh? gladiator always reminded me of another movie they're kind of similar try no no oh. they're kind of similar but i always prefer the other one mm -hmm. now i'm gonna put you on the spot braveheart basically the same movie kind of similar yeah but you prefer but, gladiator yeah what man mel gibson i just don't like mel gibson as an actor or as a human being as a human being <laughs> fuck that dude no um yeah braveheart was cool it you know what I, i think i've only seen it once and i remember it was very epic i like epic movies i think that's what my thing is i like epic movies i like titanic minus all that fucking mushy bullshit that's a good fucking movie <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's I like Gangs of New York. That was epic as fuck. Minus fucking Cameron Diaz ru ruining that whole goddamn movie. Yeah, she was kind of miscast. But Daniel Day Lewis, one of the finest actors on the planet. I think he's the best. One. There will be blood. Fuck off. That's so good. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> so let's stay on Gladiator. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I just I can't believe he's only seen Braveheart once. You gotta watch it again. I why probably don't you should. Like, why don't you like Mel Gibson? Uh, I think all the uh, what was a series of movies, Lethal Weapon. Yeah, fuck those. What? I mean, those those are movies from my time when I was a kid, and even then, no, actually, they were okay. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're yeah, I'm full of shit. Those were good movies, <laughs> Lethal Weapon. That series is good. Yeah, yeah. I like Die Hard too. Fuck it. Why not? Yeah, I mean, not all of the Die Hards are good. No, not all of Did them. Did you see all of them? Yeah. <laughs> Which one is the best one? The one with Hans fucking Gruber. The McLean. first one. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, it so fucking sucks that Alan Rickman is dead. That dude, I love that dude. I loved him too. Now there can never be another Harry Potter. Who's, who's going to fucking play Snape? Come on. Nobody. It's kind of strange when famous actors die. And these are people that you you don't know them personally. but Yeah, you do. You <laughs> I mean, through their movies. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but it's kind of strange how sad it makes you feel. Like yeah. When Alan Rickman died. I was really sad. When Pee Wee Herman died. That dude has been a part of everybody's life for... A hundred thousand years, roughly. <laughs> <laughs> Longer than Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah. They went to school together, I think. Yeah. But didn't he have like a sketchy past? Pee Wee Herman? Uh, yeah. Okay. Whatever. He had this awesome TV show, right? For children. Cool. And in Florida, I think it was like 89 or something. He was in a porno theater back when that was a thing where they're showing fuck movies. What did people do in porno theaters? They whack off. What, what did he get caught doing? whacking off so somebody well that's it that's it that oh. is it he was in a porno theater for adults jacking off with only adults around other people were whacking off and somebody said hey you know what that's Pee Wee herman i'm gonna snitch on him that means while you were whacking off you're watching Pee Wee herman whack off and thought it was so offensive that you snitched him out and ruined his fucking career oh that's all he did he was jerking off in a porno theater I thought he had been inappropriate with, you know, no, like kids not one or, bit. That oh. one fucking thing shot his career down straight to hell. Him jerking off in a poor in an theater. adult theater. Yeah. Who cares about that? People in Florida sure did. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Although he was awesome in Blow. That's an awesome movie. Yes. Yeah. He was fucking great. <laughs> I like movies where they take a song and forever, like with a. Stuck in the Middle with You, uh, Reservoir Dogs. Uh -huh. You can't hear that song without being, pff, yeah, the dude's getting his ears cut off. That poor cop getting got doused in gasoline. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like movies like that. And, and that happened in Blow. What song? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it totally happened, though. No. <laughs> You're like, oh, I love movies where the song, you know, you remember, remember the song, you connect it to the movie. But you don't remember the song from Blow. It was one of those segue things. 
not a scooter, but like a like a montage. Yeah, a montage, yeah. not a segue. Uh, but uh, some American movie, fucking nineteen seventies thing, Leonard Skinner, I think it is. <laughs> You're just making stuff. I am. I'm just saying <laughs> words. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so Gladiator was done. Gladiator, yeah, that's a great movie. Uh, next, Pulp Fiction. Number four. Yeah. Number Actually, four. everything Quentin Tarantino ever made was dope. Even Hateful Eight. Even Hateful Eight was good. What's wrong with Hateful Eight? I like it. The last 10 minutes of that movie were so good. But, boy, there was a lot of talking in that cabin. It's a bit long. But it was a bit long, but I love everything he's ever fucking done. Have you seen all of them? Every yeah, multiple fucking times. You even like Death Proof. Mm. <laughs> no, no. That one's not really. Good. I just recently watched it, like maybe six months ago. It's like, oh yeah, that. You know, maybe I missed something. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, that's his worst movie. Although Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was not. Real great. That I agree on. Okay. I did not like that one. I like the dog food to the face at the end of the movie from Brad Pitt. That was pretty cool. But, mm, meh. It's not that fun. No. It, no. It mm -mm, just didn't hit right. But let's talk about Pulp Fiction. Yep. Number four. Yeah. Because that, that's when I was growing up, that was... Well, I was already in my 20s. Yeah, I, was gonna, I was going to say, Jason, you're you were born in 68. But I didn't grow it's up 90. until just a few years ago. <laughs> and I swear to God, <laughs> for real, I was a complete tarred until I met my wife. Just living at the tattoo shop, being a fucking loser, just, oh, I'm a grown-ass man. I got nothing to show for it. And then she was like, you know what? Why do you make all this money and don't have anything to show for it? Man. So, yeah, she showed me the way. Like, ah, yeah, I should probably grow up one of these days. She helped you become a man. Yeah, yeah, fucking A, totally. So you were like a teenage boy trapped in a grown-ass, old-ass <laughs> man's body. Yeah, uh, yeah. I definitely have that Peter Pan syndrome. And uh, although I'm a thousand years old, I still... Uh, I often think my birth certificate got screwed up because I can't be this fucking old. I <laughs> I can't believe you were born in 68. Right? Because there's people that are younger than me. I'm like, you fucking suck. You're, you, how are you, like, you're an old person. You and, look younger than I do. <laughs> <laughs> I was born 83, Jason. Sorry, bro. <laughs> you got good genes. I guess, right? So when you say that <clears throat> you were watching Pulp Fiction when you when you were growing up. Mm -hmm. I think you were like 26 when it came Probably. Out. <laughs> but these, during that time, these are movies that molded, that was just the time. You know what I mean? Like when I first heard Nirvana, I was like, this, this is the thing. I can feel change in the air. This is, this is the thing. You know? Something new. Yeah. Fucking Pulp Fiction. I was like, what the fuck is this? Oh my God. This is, this is me now. I'm, I'm, Part of this. Yeah. Did uh, you see that one before you saw Reservoir Dogs? Because he made Reservoir Dogs, then he made Pulp Fiction. Probably. Do you remember? Pro I, I probably saw them in order. I've always been a movie crackhead. So you saw Reservoir Dogs and then yeah, Pulp yeah. Fiction. But you were blown away by Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why is it so good? Mm, fucking John Travolta. Who wasn't even supposed to be cast in this movie. He was like the fourth... I think I think Tarantino always wanted Travolta. There was a there was a whole list of people who who he wanted and was like, ah, fuck it, we'll get this guy. But um, I just like everything about that movie. It, it was a, a good time. That's what it was. It was a, it was a good time in my life. I was in a college or some shit. And uh, yeah, that that and as a person who was in college at that time. Mm. Yeah, it was just it spoke to that's you. like when I peaked probably my <laughs> coolness. And like, yeah, that was a good ass time. Like, you know, like uh Uncle 
Remo or whatever the fuck he was in uh, Napoleon Diamond Night, always talking about football, you know, like that's when he peaked. That's when I, the, the my coolness peak was probably in college. Around 94. Sure. We'll go with that. <laughs> I've been a dork ever since then. <laughs> so you were cool as around 26? Sure. Okay. We'll go with that. Did you see Pulp Fiction at the movies? Yeah. Multiple wow. times. Yeah, yeah. So good. This is before you got the internet. You had to go to the movies. I don't think, I, bro, legit, I never went on this internet you speak of except for like LimeWire and shit. Remember that? Downloading fucking songs that took 16 <laughs> fucking hours. Uh until I moved here um, in 2006. I never had a laptop until then. So you didn't have internet access before yeah. 2006? Nah. You were I, just sleeping in the trailer. That's for nerds. <laughs> Tattooing people. <laughs> no, that, all right, yeah. I was aware of the, this internet you speak of. But um, yeah, I didn't really get computer savvy until I moved here. late in life. Mm -hmm. well, I was too busy doing stuff. Like what? Mm, I'm Tattooing? This and that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to ask you, when did you start tattooing? How old were you? 98, 99? I don't know. I was 30, 29, something. I, I don't know. Funny story. When, when uh, yeah, after, after a certain age, I just quit having birthdays because who fucking cares? I'm old. Honest. So you don't celebrate your birthday? I try not to. Although the people around me keep doing it. And I fucking hate it. <laughs> they keep reminding you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here's a birthday cake with a big ass 55 on it. Oh my God. How am I this old? Jesus Christ. How, do, how did we go from tattooing to birthdays? I was asking you, when did you start? Oh, yeah. Around 98. Because I couldn't give you an actual number <laughs> when I started tattooing. <laughs> <laughs> I was late 20s, maybe maybe 30. I Do don't you know. remember why? Yeah. Why? Because I was a fucking idiot. Um, Did you always was, like to draw? Well, I was living in Atlanta, working at a 24-hour bar. Yep. 24-hour bar? Uh-huh. I didn't work there all 24 hours. <laughs> but... <laughs> it was open 24 hours. Yeah, it was. And um, I may or may not have allegedly been doing a lot of drugs at the time as oh. most young people do uh and I, I was just an idiot i was getting a lot of tattoos some of my friends were tattooers and i was like wow i'm a drug dealer i could one of these careers you guys are cool you guys are like tattooers and people respect you and you get to do cool shit this, what I'm doing is going to get my door kicked in. And, you know, people were dying around me and stuff and bad, bad stuff. And I was like, I'm going to change. I'm going to turn my life around. So at least I quit selling drugs and I started tattooing. And it's the awesomest job on the planet. It seems so random. I mean, when you were a kid, I'm a, I'm were, a you random always, dude. were you always drawing? Yeah, I've been artist? drawing and painting since I could fucking stand up. Okay, okay. So you obviously have the talent for it. I mean, yes, it just seems yes, like a random. <laughs> it seems like a random career path if you're not. It like was. I was growing up like an I was artist. going to the Art Institute of Atlanta for computer illustration, and uh, yeah, uh, I got a job right out of college doing all the tour merch for like anybody from Ozzy to Nail Bomb to fucking Garth Brooks. Um, really cool job. But I just couldn't be trapped in a fucking in an office with like a my seventy year old Hollywood uh, boss in his blue leather pants on his fucking forty thousand dollar couch talking about yeah yeah you need to you know yeah I signed Motley Crue you need to listen to me that this kind of guy <laughs> a Hollywood guy I'm like fuck you you old fucker you but I had it was a really cool job doing cool like rock and roll shit for cool companies and and stuff but. Meh, not for me. Not I'm not a computer sitting in front of there guy. Because there was a window right here. And I'd just be like, mm, I should be outside. <laughs> and did you start tattooing full time right off the bat? Yeah. So yep. you've been tattooing for 20, 
five, six years, maybe. Don't make me do math. A, lo <laughs> a long, long time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have to ask you a question. This is about tattooing. Huh? I have no tattoos. Ew. But what? <laughs> I'm what you would call a tattoo virgin. Yeah. So if I came to your shop mm -hmm. and I was like, Jason, I really want a tattoo. And you would be like, okay, what do you want? I want a half sleeve. Tight. I would be like, you know, I want a half sleeve, something cool. Sick. Would you recommend, like, you know what? No, don't get something that big for your first time out. Just Fuck get a that. small Get one. more. For my first tattoo? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. But I don't know anything about the pain. Cool. Cool. Just do it. Just tattoos are fucking awesome and make you cooler. Do that shit. <laughs> Legit. But I mean like for my first yep. time. Yeah. Fuck it. Do it. A big one. Yeah. Don't just dip your toe in the pool. Fucking jump in that motherfucker. <laughs> if it's too cold, eh, whatever. What if I pass out? Cool. Then I'll just <laughs> feed you sugar, wake you up, tell you some jokes, and we'll continue. So a half sleeve. Fuck yeah. Fucking Grim no Reaper. Hesit no Grim hesitation. Grim Reaper, a fucking eagle, <laughs> some cool shit. Fuck yeah. No, all day long. Yes. Fuck yes. So that instead of me getting like a small one here. We'll do that too. Whatever. Just get a fucking tattoo, man. Just do it. Do it. Do it. But maybe it's, too, it. maybe it's too late. Maybe I'm too it's old. It's never too. Oh, I tattooed a lady about two weeks ago that was 86, bro. What? It's never too late. And YOLO. No. <laughs> Yo. For real. What the fuck do you have to lose? You know what I mean? And especially, you live in Iceland. Mm -hmm. If you have sleeves and your throat tattooed, you're not a scary fucking criminal. You're probably a fucking barista or a waiter. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it's Nobody gives a fuck about tattoos anymore. I've tattooed doctors, lawyers, all, fucking anybody... Somebody's mom. Well, that, that's not a good example, but like <laughs> literally any walk of life you can think of. Okay, be, but be honest. Hmm? If I came to you and I would be like, you know what? Yep. I want to get a neck tattoo. Fuck yeah, you do. But I'm not the type. I don't yeah, think you I, are. I could not pull it off. Yes, you could. I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are. You, you would be cool once you got that. And you'd be like, <laughs> check me out, bro. Neck tat. But don't I have to be like nope. kind of muscular? Nope, and not at all. You that, think I could pull off a neck tattoo? I got a haircut today, right? So my my hair dressing guy, right? He's like, yeah, I, 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 I'm talking about I should get a tattoo, but I got to go to the gym. The fuck you got to go to the gym for? Get a fucking tattoo. You don't, that's a misconception. You get the tattoo that overrides muscles. You got a fucking tattoo. <laughs> fucking, overrides muscles. <laughs> it does. You are fucking cool. You got a tattoo now. So you think... Having a tattoo is cooler than being muscular. Yeah. <laughs> Just ask. Sorry, muscular people who bust their ass <laughs> in the gym, but yeah, yeah. You just have to pay a little bit of money, yeah. and then you become cool. Insta-cool, buddy. Yeah. But be honest. There are types of people that can pull off different types of tattoos, right? I mean, yeah. I'm a movie nerd. I can't be, you know. Then you get a fucking... Um, this, what's it called? A film strip with all frames of your favorite movies as a sleeve. Boom. Fuck, that could be cool. It would be sick as fuck. I know it would be cool. Yeah. One other question. I'm very hairy, as you can see. Tight. But it's going to ruin the nope. tattoo, Do right? Do a tattoo. Do it. Do it. Get a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Jason the... Normal guy talking or Jason, the tattoo artist who's trying to get it's all me the same. Into show. No, it's all I don't give a fuck. It, don't don't get a tattoo, but get a tattoo. <laughs> For real. I'm I'm the same dude. You know what I mean? The guy who owns a shop and makes tattoos is the same dude who loves all these fucking stupid ass movies. I'm I'm that guy. What you in my wedding vows, the first line is what you see is what you get. Da, 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 da. I'm that guy. <laughs> So you think everybody should get a tattoo? Sure. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Everybody should get everybody. a tattoo. Everybody. Children, babies, mom. <laughs> babies. <laughs> Moms, whatever. Yeah, why not? Okay. One last question. If I came to your shop 
And I told you, you know, you know, uh, I don't have any tattoos. Yeah. Which body part would you recommend? Your fucking arm. A- this part of your arm on your left arm so that when, when you're driving, that shit hangs out the window and you look fucking badass. <laughs> That's always the best first tattoo to get. I've never thought about it that way. So you can put Driving your down Lega Vega in the summertime, <laughs> like two miles an hour, like, hey, bitches, what's up? Yeah, be that guy. Left arm hanging out the window. <clears throat> okay. Or just somewhere you can see it. Because a lot of people get their first tattoo, like, I want it on my ribs or my shoulder. Because, oh. Is that bullshit? If that's you, cool. But why? Wouldn't you rather look at it and be like, I got a fucking tattoo? But somebody told me, gave me advice. He was that, a liar. That, <laughs> that you should, if I was thinking about getting like a sleeve or mm-hmm. a half sleeve, yep. it should stop around here. Why the fuck should it stop there? Because then you can't. <laughs> Then you put on a like a shirt if you have like a job interview. Do you know what I mean? I'm just Do you plan on being a lawyer this late in life? Or probably not. A prosecuting attorney for the US <laughs> Attorney General's <laughs> office. You're gonna be a even if you were a fucking preacher, Iceland is cool enough that you'd be like sick tat, bro. Jesus. Uh, you know what I mean? Iceland don't give a fuck about tat. Why? It's you only live once, dude. What am I going to look like when I'm old? Fucking cool is what you're going to look like. Get <laughs> tattoos. Everybody. <laughs> at Black Cross. At Black Cross Tattoo. Okay. One last, last, last question. This place here. Yeah. Fucking hurts, right? They all hurt. But I'm a pussy. I, I will admit that all day long. I fucking hate getting tattooed. The, everybody I tattoo, they're like, yeah, hand, it wasn't bad. It's like, boy, that lit me up like a Christmas tree. I, yeah, I'm, I, I'm a puss. Um, yeah, it hurt. But this is worse than this, right? Yeah. So is the ribs and the back of your fucking, the back of your knee. That was pretty horrible. Oof. But I didn't die. And if anybody can get tattoos all over the place, If I can get them, anybody can get them. Jesus Christ, I hate getting them. I'm the worst person to get tattooed. I want to take breaks. I'm like, ah, oh, uh, it's, yeah. Uh, How badly does it hurt? Um, I know it depends on the person. But yeah, it just depends on the person. It's it's unpleasant. But For the entire time? Or do you get used to it? You get used to it. First couple of minutes, you're like, ooh, hoo-hoo, this is not nice. Is it like you know getting stabbed? No. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Getting stabbed is just unpleasant no matter who you ask. Um, it's kind of like a... Because a needle is, you know... Yeah, yeah. Poking it's you not like stop. getting a, a shot or... Sta- it's like a, being licked by kittens that have laser beam tongues. <laughs> <laughs> that does not sound pleasant. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Um, it's it's kind of like a shock or a pinch or it just depends on the individual. You know what I mean? Because I tattoo people. I, I got my ribs tattooed. Fucking horrible. But I see other people and they're like, yeah, it, you know, it was a little stingy. <laughs> a little stingy? Holy shit. I saw my fucking soul leave my body three times. <laughs> But again, I'm, I'm a puss. It's Me too. Cool, get a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, I will, Jason. Sure? Okay, let's get back to the movies. Okay, we left off our Pulp Fiction because it was an awesome movie. It's a great, it's his best movie. Yeah. Number three. You ready? Yep, hit me with it. It's a Korean movie with subtitles. Old, Old boy. boy. Fuck yeah, my man. A masterpiece. Yes. Even the one, the American one with Josh Brolin, I wasn't mad at that. What? Still a good movie. Okay, if, if, if somebody is an anti, oh, I would never watch a foreign film. Oh. <laughs> Go watch the Josh Brolin one. It was still, you, at the end of the movie, you're like, what the actual fuck did I just watch? But, when But you the s- Korean one, yeah, when you that see fight the scene with rich. the fucking hammers and shit. Oh, sick. Sick. The one with Josh Brolin. I saw both of them. And I like Josh Brolin. Which one did you see first? The original? Yes. The South Korean one? Yes. Or the remake? No, the, the OG. Because somebody told me about it and I was like, 
I don't really <clears throat> like foreign movies. You know, that's not very American to me. But uh, but I'll see it. So you saw it in Iceland? Yeah, 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 yeah. I soaked today, my man. <laughs> and it was in, it was subtitled in American, so I was like, sick. It's such a good movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, also the the movie Parasite, the Korean movie. Awesome. I don't. It's probably not the same guy. There's many uh, Korean no, directors, apparently. Yeah, it's not the. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of Korean directors. Who no, knew? It's, not, it's not the. It's not the same guy. Have you seen a movie Korean called "I Saw the Devil"? No, but apparently I need to. Is it a horror movie? No, it's more like a revenge thriller type. Okay, I like fucking, revenge and thrilling. It's fucking awesome. Something. What is it? I saw the devil. I saw the devil tonight. So today, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta see that one. It's, okay. Uh, don't watch any trailers. Don't read about it. Just press play. A lot of times when I'm on certain websites, <laughs> um, if it has a cool looking cover, because I've seen so many movies that you can tell pretty much by the cover okay. if it's going to be a good one or not. I'm going to show you. Okay. Cover. Let's see. And be honest. Oh, I, I'm, you're always. Honest. I would never lie. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Fuck that piece of shit. That looks dumb. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> I would at least. Does this look like something you would like to watch? No, but what? I would click on it and see what it's about. Okay. And then I'd be like, yeah, okay, cool. Because I, I do like to go into movies just blind. Like, you know what? I'm watching this shit tonight. I don't know what the fuck it is. Okay. One more Korean movie that I love. I, I do like Korean movies. Called The Man from Nowhere. Is this a movie that you would like to watch? Mm. Trust me. Jason. Reminds me of IP Man or something. This is more like Taken. Okay, cool. I, I'm in. Uh, I've been watching a lot of um, Korean zombie movies lately. Those are pretty sick. Uh can't remember the name of any of them, but it's all Netflix shit. Mm, train to Busan. Busan yeah. yeah. Not mad at that. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's there's all kinds of Korean uh, zombie shit lately. One, one like in a high school where motherfuckers are trying to escape and don't do a very good job because they were already out of the school five fucking times to keep going back <laughs> in. Whatever that movie was, it was super good. I don't think I've seen that one. Okay. What about Squid Game, the TV series? Loved it. That was really good. Yeah. Fucking brilliant. Yeah, yeah. But I think that they released that because the American government was doing something over here they didn't want us to know about. So they released Squid Game. So the whole world was like, ah, Squid Game. Yeah. Let's talk about it in social media and flood Facebook and Instagram. So Squid Game. You think they were hiding something? Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. The Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial. Huh? Televised. Fucking... Updates every 34 seconds. Yeah. The Ghislaine Maxwell trial. Fucking, what's his nuts? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Epstein. Epstein's girlfriend. Closed. No, nothing. No pictures. No, we don't ever know even what happened. Fuck off. One was slightly more important than the other. <laughs> Just saying. Just slightly. Yeah. Okay. We get it. Johnny Depp did cocaine. Ooh, that's shocking. Uh, that is a good point. Right. And I think, yeah, I think the media is very good about dangling this over here. And look and at they this. knowing that America or the world is going to eat that shit up. Squid Game. Something bad was happening during that time that but we should have so, known about. It was so good. Yeah. It was perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. So, old boy masterpiece. Yes. I mean, it's in number three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty high on the list. It is. But that was the mood. And I tried to whittle this list. I was like, man, that motherfucker is going to ask me my top 10 favorite movies. I can't <laughs> do that. There's no such thing as a top 10 favorite movie. But I did my best. Mm. Mm. Then we will mm. <laughs> go over your honorable mentions. Yeah. Okay. Number two. Fucking Casino. Was that Scorsese as well? Yeah. Brilliant motherfucker. Well, everybody knows that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> fucking casino. Anything with go Joe motherfucking Pesci? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, you fuck your mother. Oh my God, Joe fucking Pesci. That 
what a, a God's gift to the acting community. So you have, because I know you have Goodfellas number one. Yep. You have Casino and Goodfellas, Mafia movies. Yeah. America. <laughs> They're so fun. Yeah. Um, so yeah. you prefer Goodfellas to Casino, if you had to pick one. Yeah, um, because I like Casino a little bit more because it's long. I like long movies. And it's epic. It's epic as a motherfucker. That first 30 seconds, him flying through the air in the fucking pink fucking suit. Are you kidding me? Fucking Rob De Niro. Oh, my God. Come on. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Goodfellas and Casino. The shit. Have you seen them a bunch of times? Uh-huh. Okay. Then I can put you on the spot. If you had to compare Robert De Niro and Casino, mm. Goodfellas, do you prefer him in Casino or in Goodfellas? Just him. His performance, his character. Do you prefer him in Casino or Goodfellas? Mm. Oh, that's a <laughs> terrible question. <laughs> mm. Makes you think. Is it an unfair question or just a tough yeah, question? Yeah, because they're so too Different. diametrically opposed. They're, they're, I mean, they're both mafia movies. Which one is more your favorite? Just Goodfellas. De Niro and Goodfellas. Yeah. What about Pesci? <laughs> Joe fucking <laughs> Pesci. You fucking make me squeeze your head out of your, your eyeball out of your head for, for, for what? For fucking Joey M, you mutt, you motherfucker. Oh my god. <laughs> That's jo good Joe Pesci. Yeah, impression. right? Joe fucking Pesci. Um oh. <laughs> Again, fucking good fellas. What? I fucking amuse you? What am I fucking clown? Dance, spider dance. Come on. Fucking Joe motherfucking Pesci. Um good fellas. Mm -hmm. That's why it's, yeah, fuck it. That's why it's number 1. And then uh what's his nuts? The guy who died fucking um Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta. Ray fucking Liotta. <clears throat> Love that motherfucker. What about Sharon Stone in Casino? Yep. Was she good? Yep. She fucking killed it. I fucking love Casino. Yep. The best. And it's so f visually stimulating. It was it was crispy. Yeah, I like crispy movies. <clears throat> and for me personally, I think I prefer the backdrop in Casino. You know, Las Vegas yeah, yeah. versus New York and Goodfellas. Yeah. And plus... Ooh, good fellas. That last scene with the baseball bats, that just hurts your soul. Well, that was in Casino. Oh, yeah. Then that, uh, <clears throat> my favorite movie. <clears throat> so you want to put Casino number one? <sighs> no, but that's no, no, I still like Goodfellas. Am I convincing oh, you to God put Casino number one? You know what? You want to put Casino. You make me number doubt one. myself. <laughs> I'm just saying that that scene was the most brutal scene in all of moviedom. Holy fuck. That is a whole Good, that you know scene what? is a horrific scene. You want casino. Put, casino is number one. I, yes. Yeah. 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 Because I, yeah, I could watch that movie so many times. Fuck yeah. But they're both masterpieces. Yes. And just who were they both directed by Scorsese? Yeah, Scorsese. Oh shit! So he's got one, two, two. <laughs> he's only got two, right? Oh, Gone Girl. No, well, that's David Fincher. Same thing. <laughs> Well, we talked about other Scorsese movies like Shutter Island and Gangs of New York. Oh, yeah, yeah, not in yeah, the yeah. top 10 yeah, list. I guess I'm a Scorsese guy. Shit. I didn't even know that. Did you like Heat? I did. I just watched that a couple months ago. Fucking Long awesome. movie also. But, but it's you fucking get good. Sucked into the characters and just the cast in that motherfucker. God damn. The reason why I asked you about Heat is because De Niro made Heat and Casino the same year. 95. Fuck off. That was a good year for him. Can you imagine? That was the pinnacle of his career. Raging Bull, fuck off. <laughs> that was his that was his his peak. You have a lot of 90s movies yeah. on your list. Because I was I remember a lot of the 90s. And they made really good movies they in did. the 90s. Yeah, yeah. That was movies from the 80s, cool, you know, but the 90s uh they so became less movies. cheesy, I think. More. If you compare it to gritty. the 80s. Yeah. Yeah, I think. I mean, I would French agree, Connection. Yeah. yeah, sure, whatever. That's a 70s movie. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
all grainy, <laughs> fucking not shot well looking ass movie. <laughs> 90s. You had so many good movies. Yeah. Tarantino was coming up. Goodfellas, Casino. Yeah. The Matrix. Did you like that one? <laughs> no, I didn't. I saw it. You saw didn't like part it. Two. It was too it was much sci fi for you. No, I like sci fi, but it was just, man, it was interesting to look at, visually stimulating, but uh, too much to think about. Until <laughs> reality, fuck off. You really don't want to think no, when you watch. Movies. I like to be entertained. But thinking about stuff is entertaining. Is it though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then why don't you just watch reality TV, shut your brain off? Is your shirt from the from the fucking Die Hard? Yeah. My man. <laughs> That's good, Sick. Jason. Sick. The okay, Nakatomi you, Corporation. <laughs> you just went up a point in my book. All right. Yeah, sick. I like movie t-shirts that don't specify, you know, the movie. Yeah, if it you doesn't know, say, you know. Yeah, if yeah, you know, yeah. you know. It's not like Die Hard. Yeah. It's the Nakatomi Corporation. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. You're all right, my book. <laughs> I just went up in your Oh, yeah. Okay. Goodfellas, number two. Casino, number one. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'll stay there. That's one hell of a list. It is. <laughs> it is. I even like My Cousin Vinny. It's a fun movie. Yeah, but it's not on the list. <laughs> <laughs> it's not top ten material. No, fuck no. Honorable mentions. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go. Yeah, all right. Just, so just random. The other, no, these aren't random. The these other, are also ranked. Yeah. So it's like number 11, number 12. Yeah, actually. X-Men First Class. Good movie. Fuck yeah, it is. I like shit about World War II. <laughs> I like the backstory. I fucking hated Kevin Bacon so bad in that movie. I wanted him to fucking die. Well, that's good because he's a bad guy. Yeah. Well, duh. Yeah. 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 I, I, I like that movie. Um, what about superhero movies in general? Like the I Marvel see stuff? all of them, but they're getting played the fuck out. Marvel, fuck off. It's getting boring. Yeah. Like uh, when my, my daughter, when she was about 14, she had a little boy over. And uh, I just got home from my work. And my other daughter's like, Dad, Lisa's got a boyfriend on the couch. And I was like, okay. All right. <laughs> and, you know, as an American, that's my time to shine. That's when I answer the door, polishing my gun and my underwear. <laughs> So I walk in the living room. I'm like, you, Marvel or DC? He's like, my, my, my Marvel. I'm like, all right, fuck it. You can stay. And I just walked out of the room. <clears throat> my question to you, to you, if I had been that boy and you would have been like, Marvel or DC, I would have asked you, are you talking about the movies or the comics? Uh, yeah. I'm torn, though, because I do love Batman and I like the universe of Batman. What about Superman? Just fuck off. The worst superhero in the history other than Ant-Man of all fucking superheroes. You put on some glasses, fuck off. Everybody knows it's you. <laughs> but what about Superman, the character, like the superhero? Meh. You don't like him? Meh. I saw the movie. I see, even saw the fucking three-hour Zack Snyder, Zack Snyder director's cut in black and white, only so I could see that 40 seconds of the Joker at the very end. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You seen that shit? Yeah. Because I like Jared Leto's Joker. And I was like, ooh, there's some Jared Leto Joker I haven't seen. I'm going to sit through this fucking three goddamn hours. I think it's four hours. <laughs> Even worse, yeah. But it was worth it. was worth it. Uh, 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 for that. I you wasted. watched the entire movie mm -hmm. yeah. for that scene. Yeah. The Joker scene. Mm -hmm. I think Jared Leto got snooked really hard on that movie. I think that could have. But, but. So you liked his gangster take on the Joker. Mm -hmm. But his whole get up was a little bit reminded me of the the uh, the George Clooney vibe in the Batman. Kind of like, that's a bit much. But I wasn't mad. I liked it. Okay. Did you like him because he had tattoos? No, didn't give a fuck. Oh. Uh, I just like Jared Leto. I think he's uh, a good actor. I think. Is he as good as he thinks he is? Fuck no. <laughs> Neither is his band, 30 Seconds to Mars. Who do, likes that? Do, do they suck? I don't know. I don't probably. think. 
<laughs> if you gave me a trillion dollars, I couldn't name you a fucking 30 Seconds to Mars song. But have you heard their songs? Sure. Have you listened to their music? Fuck them. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know what you're talking about. No, not one bit. What about Keanu Reeves' band? Dog, Dog Star? Yeah, that was a thing in the 90s. Are they any good? No. <laughs> Did you listen to them or just say words? I was aware of their existence. It's a good good comeback, right? I was aware of their existence. Um, yeah, but what was what whatever else was going on in that time frame? Fucking Soundgarden and all that kind of stuff. Keanu Reeves, thank you for your effort. But and you're still a really cool guy. But no, no, a great you. human being. Yeah, yeah. Love your motorcycles. Does he play the bass? Yeah, but um, it wasn't noteworthy enough to be like, yeah, that's some good shit. <laughs> Juliette Lewis is in a band as well. Cool. But she's cool. Yeah, she's cool. My wife likes her band, whatever it's called. <laughs> and the one song that I can know of, I'm like, yeah, it's all right. But, but stick to acting. Sure. That's basically what you would Have you seen a series called Yellow Jackets? Yeah. <sighs> That's seen... not a movie. We're not going to talk about it. Oh, no, we can talk about Yellow so Jackets. So fucking good. I've not finished it, though. Because... Uh, How much have you seen? There's two seasons. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Have you started season two? No. Maybe. I don't know. I just... I, <laughs> I just... <laughs> I can't help you. I don't I know. I just watch what I can. Because by the time I get home from work, you know, kids in bed and all that stuff, and I'm, I'm watching some shit, and then I'll, you know, like it took me three or four days to finish Oppenheimer. Because I was like... Uh, Do you work the entire day? Like... I work six days a week, 12 to six, something. And then kids and family. and Yeah. <laughs> you don't have a lot of time to watch TV. No. But when I do, I oh. enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yellow Jackets, you like it, but you haven't finished it. Yeah, no, I haven't. Do you think you will ever finish it? Fuck yeah. It's because it's so good. Yeah. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, my wife hipped me to it. And she's like, you've got to check this out. And after one episode, I was like... I stayed up till like six in the morning watching like four or five episodes. Like, I got to go to fucking bed, but oh my God, so what's in, what's going on now? And um, I'm, I like Christina Ricci. I think she's a, a good actress and uh, her character is super creepy in this. She's definitely, I think, the most interesting character on, this, on that yeah. show. But boy, Juliette Lewis has not aged well. Holy crap. But I think she's so cool. I've always thought she was a cool actress. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She is cool. <laughs> <laughs> and she's a good actress. Yeah. Her character in this is, yeah, I like it. And she's supposed to be, <clears throat> you know. Like the, the edgy one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, yeah, I mean, definitely. She, she looks the part. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Okay. Axman First Class. Yep. Good Number movie. Two. Number two. The Town. I love The Town. Right. He Affleck directed that one, right? Yeah. And wrote it as well. I fucking think. killed it. Yeah. Um, and Jeremy Renner is fucking awesome in that. I like that dude, except when he's fucking doing the arrow bullshit. That's not for me. <laughs> what, as Hawkeye? Yeah, fuck all that. Whatever. I, the whole Marvel, you know, uh, superhero thing is just getting played the fuck out. Yeah. What is it? Iron Man Part 27. This fucking. Oh, he's dead. Is he though? <laughs> In that universe, he is. That, that's mm -hmm. I hate that multiverse. Yeah. I don't care for it one bit. But I'm a simple man. <laughs> the town. Yeah, the town. Fuck yes. Great. Movie. Um, what was the other one uh, about Boston? Um, not Black Mass, but the a Boston crime movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like a bank robber story? Yeah, or yeah. What do you... Yeah, fuck it. Who cares? Um, no, 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 I'm curious. Yeah, I thought you, you're you the movie guy. Fuck. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I, rattle that shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Directed by so-and-so. Uh, you got to give me something more. I thought Ben so, Affleck directed that Boston crime one too. movie. Affleck's in it, as well as fucking Matt Damon and Jack Nicholson. Uh, The Departed. Boom, that one. Affleck's not in Departed. Sure he is. 
Are you sure? <laughs> Matt, yeah, I'm sure. Matt Damon's in it. Okay. Leo is in it. DiCaprio. Yeah. Nicholson. Okay. I like that one too. Mark Wahlberg is in it also. That's a Boston movie. Scorsese made it. Okay. He makes good movies, apparently. <laughs> Who knew? He seems like your favorite di director. He might be. Scorsese. Shit. Okay. Um, Next one. Django fucking Unchained. So that's your second most favorite Tarantino movie. Pulp Fiction is on your top 10 list? Apparently so. Django. Yeah. Love awesome. it. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I like it more than Inglorious Bastards, which also, Jesus Christ, that was so good. Man, you can't pick a, 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 a favorite Tarantino movie, but I fucking love that one. But why would you say that you prefer Django over Bastards? Is it the period? Because you love World War II I do War love II World War II movies. shit. And Christoph Waltz, almost as good as Joe Pesci in a completely different fucking world. But that dude is fucking so good. Can you imagine? He won an Oscar for Bastards and Oscar for Django. Yeah. Twice. And yeah, because he's fucking a bad motherfucker. He that's should have a wallet that says that shit. That's, <laughs> that's really impressive. It is. Two Oscars, one for playing a racist and another one for playing... Oh, another racist. Hmm. No, he wasn't racist in Django. Oh, no, he wasn't. No. He was a good Sorry. guy. Yeah, he was a good guy. Yeah, yeah it was Leo. He was a Leo guy. was racist. Yeah. Um, love that movie. Jan yeah. yeah. Um, Jamie Foxx. Uh, what happened to Jamie Foxx? D'Artagnan, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Best line ever. <laughs> when he shoots the guys. Yeah. Yeah. You hated... Samuel L. Jackson is one of the best actors on the planet. Okay. And you hated Agreed. him so badly in that movie. You wanted not just to him for her to die, but just to get, just die the worst way ever. And that's the mark of a good actor. When you hate a motherfucker that you don't even know, you're like, just angry at this person. Didn't he get shot in the kneecaps? He got shot a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah. But he left him to die in the house, right? I think he did. He burned the house yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was okay. Should have been more though. He should have peeled all his skin off, rolled him in salt, <laughs> sewed his skin back on, then whipped him or something. I don't know. But I think burning to death. That's pretty, pretty hardcore. <laughs> I think that's a bad way to go. It is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Django. Uh, what's next? Wolf of Wall Street. Another Scorsese movie. <laughs> is it? <laughs> that, yeah. Okay. Jason, I guess. I think you just found out who knew? right here that Martin Scorsese is your favorite director. There's more Scorsese movies than Tarantino movies. Uh, or maybe, or maybe not. Okay, I love Martin Scorsese. Yeah. Who fucking knew? I, I I did not know that until <laughs> like 32 seconds ago. Okay, uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Based on a true story. Yep, love it. Did you root for the guy? Yeah. Love that dude. Loved his character. Did love, you root? Fuck, fuck yeah. Throw that midget. Just do <laughs> all that. Just... But he was 80. a bad guy, right? He's a piece of shit. <laughs> but I loved his character. Like, what a dickhead. Did you feel sad when he got arrested? Nope. Were you like... A little bit. Yeah. No, because no. Because you were, you were rooting for the guy. Yeah, he deserved all that shit, though. He, I mean, he whatever got he got coming yeah. to him, he fucking deserved that shit. He was a bad person. But what a great movie. I love every character, every interaction. That was just a flawless fucking movie. And Margot Robbie. I mean... Can't, can't go wrong there. <laughs> I think everybody would, would agree with you You're on right? that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Wolf of Wall Street. Reservoir Fantastic. Dogs. Reservoir Dogs. A Tarantino movie. Yep. Do you think, I'm not going to say the word on the podcast, but you know what I'm talking about. The N-word. Neighbor? Ter te what? Neighbor? <laughs> I have many neighbors. I think they all... <laughs> <laughs> he has been accused in the past. Who? Uh, Tarantino. Yeah. Like he uses it a lot in his movies. Somehow he gets away with it. I think Django Unchanged, it was over 150 times or something. <clears throat> Just a gratuitous use of that. And I know it was the time, but... Um, yeah, it's... Uh, so ba basically my question to you is, do you think a movie like Reservoir Dogs, hmm. where they use that word a lot of times... Hmm? Do you think he could release it today? Let's say he, he could. You think so? Yeah. He could make a crime movie set in modern times. You know, and use to think that of it, word. 
he's overused the fuck out of it in yes. every one of his movies. Yes. Except Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah. Hateful Eight. Yeah, he used it in Hateful Eight. But that was like a period piece. Yeah. Like oh, Django. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can get away with it. He can he can always say, hey, that was the time. But if he makes like a modern crime movie, because Erasmus Dogs is supposed to happen in the 90s. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So is Pulp Fiction. Yeah. And like, do you think the gratuitous could... use of the word then as well? And Jackie Brown. Oh, so good. So good. Yeah, people leave that one out of the loop. So it's good a movie. good movie. Brad Pitt smoking weed out of a honey jar. No, no, no. Wait, that no, was that was true romance. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> That's also good. That yeah. was written by Tarantino, but oh, not directed okay. by. Okay, fair enough. So anyway, do you think he could get away with it today? He could because he's him. People would be some people would be mad, but people who really love his movies would be like, "Oh yeah, he did that thing again that he does a lot." Okay, it's just the thing he does. Because it's kind of funny when you go back and watch those early movies. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not putting them down. I love those movies. Yeah. But when you watch it today, it really stands out. But it didn't then. No, 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 no. no. But like today. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That this just makes me think. Like, could he get away with it today? I don't think so. Unless it's a period piece. I don't know. He's got one more movie in the can. So yeah, let's I don't see. think. That, I think that was supposed to take place in the 70s. Oh, it was okay back then. So then again, he yeah. could, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not saying I wish he would <laughs> by any fucking stretch, <laughs> but um, he's probably going to do it again. He's just that guy. But I don't think anybody f faults him for it. I don't know. Maybe, I don't, that's a, maybe that's not. That's a slippery slope. Yeah. Oh, no. But I did notice in Django Unchained, I was like, God <clears throat> damn, again? Oh, oh shit, again? And yeah. again? And it, wow. So much. Yeah. But, but that, that movie's about racists. Yeah. So the fucking KKK scene in that is my one of my favorite scenes. Well, fuck you. My wife spent all night fucking sewing these things. Well, just take them off then. And then... Fucking Miami Vice guy, Don Johnson. <laughs> Weird casting, but awesome. I think it was good. Yeah, yeah. Not mad at one crumb of that whole fucking movie. Awesome movie. That's a three-hour movie as well. Love it. Yep. Like Wolf of Wall Street. So was Hateful Eight. That was like 14 hours long, I think. What? Two, Hateful Eight. That was, <laughs> it was like two weeks long or something. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so much time. He makes long movies. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I do too if they're well made. Yeah. And he makes well ass well he makes well movies. Um <laughs> he, he makes, makes good well fucking movies. Made movies. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's next? Um Prisoners. With Hugh Jack and Russell Crowe. <laughs> no. Jake Chillino. Same thing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Hugh Jackman was in it. That's all I know. <laughs> That's an awesome movie. Yeah. Like like, Kilo is very good about, oh, that was uh, Gore Verbinski, uh, 1992. Uh, he knows his stuff. Yeah. Me, I just know what I like, and I happen to know Hugh Jackman was in it, and I just assumed it was Russell Crowe, but it was Jake Gyllenhaal. You're right. So did you just take a wild guess? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or did you write down Russell Crowe? I did. Hugh Jack Crowe. Because <laughs> I didn't want to sound stupid. Like, like what if... By chance, you didn't know what I was talking about. I was like, oh, yeah, Hugh Jackman. You remember in uh, Russell Crowe? But, yeah. Okay, so in this particular case, do you think you managed to pull it off? Not something stupid? Nope. <laughs> Not one bit. <laughs> but I'm that guy. I, <laughs> I, I, you sounded so sure. You were like, with Hugh Jackman? I was waiting for Jake Gyllenhaal. You know, Hugh Jackman or Russell Crowe? Yeah. And I was yeah. like, no, that wasn't Crowe. <laughs> <laughs> in my mind, it was. <laughs> <laughs> and Russell Crowe killed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Prisoners. Yeah, yeah. That's just, a dark movie. Yeah, just good though. The whole movie, you're like, oh, just, you're like this. Would you do the same if you were Hugh Jackman? Probably. Yeah. If your kid goes missing, you think somebody took him? Yeah, that's my kid. I will fuck you up. Even if I don't have all the facts. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Even if I was like maybe sixty-seven percent sure, I'm gonna fuck you up. If it's just a gut feeling. Yeah, nobody's ever gonna see you again. You would have. <laughs> <laughs> you would have no proof whatsoever. You would still fuck him up. Yeah. That's why it was so hurtful to watch because you're like, what would I do? Like, like my wife and I started watching uh, Sound of Freedom. Yeah. 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 So today, <laughs> because it's not shown here for. That's yeah, goddamn, was it? Yeah, they, they just started I, I showing it. I don't get out a lot. But <laughs> so, about seven minutes into this movie, you turned the, it off. Both of us look at each other. We're like, "Fuck this," because we have a, a rule in our house: we don't watch sad movies or fucking. We don't watch sad movies. Life is sad enough. I don't want to purposely sit there and be fucking sad. You make me cry in a fucking movie. Fuck off. I don't need to see that shit. And we have kids. The first you've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. Right as soon as that kid disappears, we're like, I can't watch this. I, I'm i starting to feel weird. It fucks you up. Yeah. I uh, I don't even know what happens in the rest of it. I'll probably never even see it. But I hear it's a good movie. Mill Gibson said so. Um, which he's, is probably- a pr- he's a producer, so. Oh, who knew? Who knew? Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I couldn't watch it. Just, mm-mm, mm-mm. It is tough because I have a son who's two and a half years old. And imagine it fucks you up. I don't even know what happens in the rest of the movie, but I can imagine it's yeah, not you good. Yeah, can, you can imagine what kind of movie. I don't think it's it a feel good movie. At the end, you're like, oh. No, but it yeah. makes you go home and hug your kids. Yeah, or I kid hug my kids extra all life. the fucking time. I don't need <laughs> to feel that way. You know what I mean? I, that, that is true. Yeah. I don't like movies that feel me like Inception. Fuck that shit. <laughs> don't confuse me or make me feel bad. Don't confuse you or make you feel bad. <laughs> but Prisoners. Yeah. That's not a feel good movie. No. No, not even one bit of it. The whole movie you're just you feel gross. So why do you like it? Cuz it was a good movie. <laughs> Who directed it? Uh, his name is Denis Villeneuve. Okay, who knew? Um, yeah, good movie, man. Did you see Sicario? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it the same dude? Yeah. Okay, I like that one. Did you see... Oh, you've probably not seen Dune. The new the one? The new one? Yeah. Uh, I didn't like... Uh, what's the remake of the one where fucking the Barbie motherfuckers in it? That was a super good Blade movie. Runner. Yes. I, I've tried so many times to make it through there. And right about the time he goes to that house in the desert, I'm like... Trying to stay awake. Are you talking about the first 10 minutes? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. But I hear that it's a visually stimulating movie. And the clips I've seen are like, I don't remember that. This guy fell asleep. Because it makes you think. So I don't think it's a movie for you. <laughs> Same director. Is it? He made Dune, Sicario, uh, Prisoners. Okay. I mean, I'll give it a fifth try. Did you see Arrival? The with UFO Amy, movie? Yeah, with Amy Adams. Yeah. Same director who did Prisoners. Yeah. I watched it, but I was like this. It made you think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just said, fuck this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that movie was okay. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, they stole the kid and went in the UFO thingy. and it, Yeah, okay. it was a good movie. No, 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 no. They didn't steal the kid. The kid died. Did it though? <laughs> 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 okay, let's keep going. Okay, so after Prisoners, because I'm 112 years old, this really should have been in my top 10, but I, Star Wars, the OG. From 1977. Mm-hmm. I've seen that movie, I swear to God, 80 or 100 times. I can recite you almost the whole fucking shit. I just, yeah. If I like something, like if I like a song, I'll listen to that till I can't fucking stand it anymore. <laughs> And then I'll give it a couple years and I'll be like, hey, that song, yeah. Then I'll wear that shit out. Like people at my shop hate me. When I discovered, I've never played Fallout, the game, but I discovered on TikTok the fucking soundtrack, the 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 music to Fallout. Holy shit. 1930s, just <laughs> people at my work hate me. They're like, again, motherfucker, really? I'm like, yep, again. Is it on repeat at the store? It's, it's in... A, the playlist. It's in the rotation. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Star Wars, when's the last time you saw it? 
Uh, about two nights ago. Really? Yeah. I have Disney Plus, and so you did. Did you just watch it by yourself? Yep. Yeah. At night, I like to fall asleep watching movies. That's how I fall asleep, and I'm like, "What's something I can recite for word for word?" But I still like, hmm, Star Wars. So you didn't manage to finish it. You just nope. Uh -oh. You just fell asleep. Yeah, I've been watching Star Wars a lot. Uh, the uh, I watched the the Revenge of the Sith the other night. Like that one. Did you watch it or did you, did it make you fall asleep? Mm, I fell asleep during the stupid parts, and then at the good part at the end, you woke up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I could probably subliminally hear it. Like oh, I have the high ground. Fuck yeah, you do go. <laughs> <laughs> which Star Wars movie is the best one is it the first one not really Empire but that's the one pretty good I think Empire Strikes Back is uh, better because that Darth Vader's helmet looked the best in that one of all of them because they changed slightly um, but the special effects aren't real great But they're such good movies. You yep. just, yeah, you let it slide. Yeah, 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 yeah. At least I do when I watch movies that are that old but are that good. The older I get, I realize that the Jedi's are the dickheads of yes. the fucking. The Empire just wants order and peace. <laughs> Jedi's always fire first. Fucking assholes. Are you saying that the Empire are the good guys? Yeah. The Jedi's are just disguised as good guys. But they're assholes. And Emperor Palpatine? Come on. Is he a What good a guy? role model. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're the bad guys, but cool. I'll wear that hat. But they are cool. Yeah. The Sith, they're way cooler than the Jedi's. I, I, I've, had, I've gotten in fights with people when they get tattoos like, Yeah, I'd like some some Star Wars tattoos. I'm like, my man, let's go. What do you want? What do you got? Uh, yeah, I'd like the Rebel Alliance logo. I was like, oh, I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> and then I voiced my opinions on how Jedi's are the fucking assholes of the galaxy. And, well, I just wanted the tattoo, though. I was like, I ain't doing that shit. This guy will do it, though. I end up doing it. But <laughs> but if somebody came to you and he was like, you know what? I want Darth Maul my with man. the double-sided you know, double uh, lightsaber. Would you be like, oh, my God, that's awesome. Yes. But I would try and just talk him into his head because I don't want to tattoo all that black cloak. That's boring. But the head, ooh, that's a good part. Yeah, if you had to do like a full body, that's a lot of yeah. boring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had a, a Star Wars day where we were only doing Star Wars tattoos and every artist did Star Wars things. And I just did Lego guys, Star Wars Lego. So I got to do Emperor Palpatine or Darth Sidious. Uh, a C-3PO, a Stormtrooper, and a Darth Vader as Legos. And oh, I was happy as fuck. But I was so sad that nobody wanted the the um, Darth Maul. So if you're doing Star Wars Legos, that's a lot easier, right? Yeah. Because it just blocks. It's, But I try and make them look real, you know, give them some, some shine and some... 3D-ness too, but yeah. Yeah, but you don't have to do the the you know the cloak, the clothing, yeah, all that shit. But it's just you know what I mean. It's there's more no, simple. Yeah, there's no texture and eh, is the, there? Their lightsabers are see-through, so you have to like get the the light. Yeah, it's 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 tricky, but fun, fun. I like that shit. Okay, Star Wars. Yep. Then uh, there will be blood. Who directed that? His name is Paul Thomas Anderson. Okay. I love that guy. Too. He did Boogie Nights. <gasps> oh, you must How did liked. that not make it into my list? What? No Boogie Nights. You know what? Also, anything Ben Stiller made in the 90s. I don't know. Okay. Talladega Nights made that, made it in there. But Dodgeball, fucking Starsky and Hutch, all that shit. Fucking comedy platinum. What about Cable Guy? No. don't. I don't like Jim Carrey. He, what? Yeah. You don't like Jim? Too, I mean, they're funny, but I think uh, Dodgeball is way funnier than Cable Guy. You made me bleed my own blood. Come on. Are you <laughs> kidding me? But is it is it funnier than Dumb and Dumber? 
No. 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 Because Dumb and Dummy was just dumb. When they were riding on the mini bike with the snot sickles. <laughs> oh, that was so good. So good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think Ben Stiller could do no wrong in the 90s. And there, even, uh, what was it, what, Zoolander? When the fucking male models were the Jada bug fucking douse, <laughs> dancing in gasoline. That's, that's a good scene. Zoolander part two was the worst piece of shit ever. The worst. Uh, not as bad as, almost as bad as Inception. I was going to ask you, is it um, better than Inception? But wait, uh, and fucking, um, there's something Ron Burgundy. Barry. Yeah. That was comedy gold. Ron Burgundy stuff. Anchorman. Uh, Anchorman. Also pretty goddamn good. But that wasn't Ben Stiller. No, but he should have been in it. <laughs> <laughs> they should have gave him a part somehow. Okay, there would be blood. Yeah. Down Just, to the, Daniel Day-Lewis. Yeah, could do what, no wrong Fantastic in that movie. movie. Would you call that a masterpiece? It's pretty goddamn... Ooh, also, the guy who played the Jesus lover in that, the preacher... Paul Dano. You fucking hate that guy. You want him to <laughs> die even worse than fucking Samuel L. in Django Unchained. I fucking hate that guy. A stupid face and his fuck. I hate everything about him. Well, he does die. And I was pleased. <laughs> but he is such, I guess, is such a good actor or has just a stupid face that I just, it made me so angry at that guy. And yeah. Like I said, I, I get invested in movies. I so do. you enjoyed when he got, I think it was beaten to death. Yeah, I loved it. At the end. <laughs> it's like, get him again. Get the fucking Joe <laughs> Pesci with the baseball bats in there. Fucking go to town on him. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, there will be blood. So ben, what's what's left? Shawshank Redemption. That's a classic. Yeah. I think that's a perfect movie. It is. What would you say to that if I told you Schindler's that? Schindler's List too, though. God damn. That one's and good the too. Pianist. These that, are all epic movies. World War II movies. Oh, yeah. Well, not Shawshank, but no. Schindler's List and The Pianist. Yeah. And uh, what's his nuts? Uh, the pianist guy. I think he won an Academy Award or Oscar for that. Yeah, he should have. Yeah. That fucking movie was so good. Really good. And I think Liam Neeson should have won something wonderful. I know uh, Schindler's List uh, was directed by... Spielberg. Yeah, okay. Steven Spielberg. He won a fuck ton of awards. You don't like Steven Spielberg? I do, but I was expecting a Scorsese. Because <laughs> it's so good. But yeah, Spielberg had a couple of hits there here and there. Couple of yeah, hits. Yeah, you know, the <laughs> Indiana something. What about Sam and Pride Ryan? He did that one. Loved it. World War II. Yeah, yeah. But. Blood, guts, excitement, oh, action. What was the one with, I'm so tired, boss, with Tom Hanks? What was that? Green Mile? Oh, that was a good one, too. Fucking awesome. Prison. I like prison movies. No, I don't. Yeah, I, apparently I do. <laughs> <laughs> Prison movies can be really fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something about it. Yeah. You, ooh. Oh, no, thank you. I don't want to go to prison. Oh, I watched a movie called Shot Color with uh, Jamie Lannister. Yeah. As a, a just, he was a, just a, a guy who got drunk with his friends. Have you seen it? Yeah, I saw it, but I don't remember it. Really good that because vividly. he goes to prison and on day one, he needs to make a fucking choice. Who's going to be my people? I'm not a racist, but I'm white. And these guys are, holy shit, what a horrible fucking decision. And you would have to make this decision or you would get killed or raped or something really not good is going to happen to you. Yep. And he was just a guy who made a bad decision and drank too much and killed his friends or some shit, in, you know, drinking and driving. <sighs> oh, Can you imagine? No, I can't. Uh, having to make that decision. No, I couldn't. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. <clears throat> Terrible. And then extra, extra, super. Uh, <laughs> you have more. No. But I've I've watched these uh, movies probably more than anything. The original Dracula, 1942. The original Frankenstein. And The Nutty Professor, 1964. <laughs> with Jerry Lewis. So you went from, yeah, I've never seen the one with Jerry Lewis. I only saw so the one with Eddie Murphy. Good. It's better than the one with Eddie Murphy. Oh my God! Yeah. Well, I thought that was I'm, pretty I'm good. I'm old, and you know when he turns into Buddy Love, the cool guy, Jerry Lewis, 
fucking slayed it. Because, you know, it was during the uh, Sinatra times, you know what I mean? 64. That was like prime time for like. It was a little bit before my time. Loungy, but... cool guy stuff. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, Dracula and Frankenstein, uh, I watch these before I go to sleep all the time. What about horror movies? Do like you them. like them in yeah, general? Love them, but there's just nothing that's been scary in a thousand years. <laughs> in a thousand years. At least. What I mean, about ghost movies? They're, like ghost movies? they're spooky. The Conjuring, did you see that one? Yeah, part 15. <laughs> Conjuring. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about the first no one. No fooling. Yeah, yeah, that, that was cool. Is that the one with the scary nun? No, that's the second one. Okay. And then they made an yeah. entire, you know, yeah. movie with just the nun. I do get the the goosebumps and like, uh, but... Uh, no nightmares. No, no, fuck no, no. But uh, Gerald's Game. You seen that shit? Yeah. Was that scary? To me. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I have a walk-in closet in my bedroom and it's dark as fuck. And I'm a grown-ass <laughs> man. <laughs> But I might have left the light on that night in the in the bed in the after <laughs> Gerald's game. Huh? Yeah, because there's something creepy happening over there in in the corner. And I don't like that. <laughs> 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 okay, so Jason, this was a top 10 episode, and you had like 50 movies. Yeah. Would you call that cheating? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I knew it when I was making this list. I know he said 10, but he also said free form. So this is free form. So I, I knew. But there's every movie I, is a masterpiece that I said. They're, they're so fucking good. Yeah, I know. But that's why it's fun asking people to only pick 10 movies. I gave you 10. I know. I don't call that cheating. You had just a lot of honorable mentions. Yeah, oh, you're so good. And there, there should be maybe some switching around, but fuck it. I already said it. Do you think if I would, if I would ask you in 10 years, what's your top favorite 10 movies? Do you think it would be... Of that list? What's, we'll have to what wait is to your... see until Gladiator Part 2 <laughs> comes out. <laughs> Gladiator 2. You're going to see that? Beetlejuice 2. <laughs> well, that's a promise. You told me. Yeah, yeah. I have kids. I, I will have it on camera. be there with the popcorn. And... Yeah. You're going to see Beetlejuice 2. If I hear, Jason, mm -hmm. that you saw it on Soap Today. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to send you a fucking <laughs> screenshot of me, like, with my popcorn, like... At the movies. Yeah. With ticket stubs in hand. Because yeah. I know Kilo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he'll snitch me out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to talk to Kilo. And I'm going to tell him yeah. that you promised that you, would, you would not steal Beetle just two. two. You're going to see it at the movies. Yeah. Jason, I think it's about time we wrap this up. Yeah. Fuck. Seven to eight, eight to nine, nine to ten. Okay. Goddamn. Three hours. <laughs> Who the fuck is going to watch this for three hours? Do, I have no do idea. Do people watch podcasts that, like... Yeah, I know I do. I prefer I the fuck out of. Joe I Rogan. prefer watching podcasts rather than just listening to them. Oh, me too. I want to see the people that are yeah, yeah. talking, even never, if it's just you know, like two people talking. I've never listened to a podcast. I always I har watch them. Yeah, I hardly do. I only do it when it's necessary. I just you know I'm in the yeah, car maybe driving or some <gasps> shit. But I prefer watching them. I don't know. Maybe there's. People out there that are going to watch the whole thing. I think so. I've done a lot of episodes that are like three hours. So Yeah? Yeah. Oh, so I'm not special. <laughs> <laughs> you are special, Jason. So let's wrap this up. Yep. Thank you so much for coming cool. to the podcast. It's hilarious.